Welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, everyone. I started up a Barachi, I think, artificer here. I don't know quite what I'm going to get into in terms of weapons, but we'll see what I find. Because this starter club's not very good. Oh, maybe a hand axe is better. Let's see. Uh, 7 damage, 1.3 attack delay. I'm uh, currently 1.3 attack delay, 5 damage, so definitely an improvement. Oh, I got through the large rocks. If only I was an Oni or a troll or does anyone else can throw the large rocks? I don't think so. Um, oh, the random skeleton in here. Whose skeleton is that? It's a human skeleton. Sure. Oh, more of them. They're all humans, though. I think and it's. They were just all killed by a frilled lizard. I don't understand this fault, but it's kind of funny. Everyone I mean, though, people just died to a single frilled lizard. Um. Yeah, apparently there's a new uh, Mac lab around, so I'm gonna give them a try. Because I've heard lots of things about them having a lot of different marks of something or other abilities, and they sound interesting, but apparently you get a choice. So. I'm not sure I'll make a good choice the first time around, but we'll see. Uh, that first level of dungeon didn't take long to clear. I'm almost tempted to just like go unarmed, but we'll see. Uh, currently this little lags is alright. How my strengths and decks and stuff are rather even for my liking, actually. I might just unquiver this one so I don't accidentally use it, because I have a habit of accidentally using some of the stuff in my quiver. I should remember I've got it though. Uh, what do I want? I gotta go strength. Hopefully that's the right idea. I might end up with axes, we'll see. But a little hand axe is nothing to go with. I think uh Barachi are gonna both armor and dodging, so I can put on this armor that's over here. Uh ooh, don't wanna get too much more wounded. I might hit this guy with some flames, see if that does the trick. There we go. Oh wait, that was only like 50% to hurt? Hmm, a bit dodgy. Oh, how this guy? Can I burn this guy? 70%. Hmm. Alright, let's try the armor. So we've got 3 armor class 10 evasion. Got 5 armor class 9 evasion. Yeah, the ring bear always seems like really good when you have no skill. Um. Ooh, spectral kobold. Sure, I mean, it's not tough. It's just interesting. Is that like a tablet quad or something? It's a random one. Zid, Ashton, Zari, or Hepley Aquata. I mean, it's got a 1 in 3 chance of um, giving you an ancestor. Which makes sense for an altar with a spectral kobold on it. Although, it doesn't actually have a creature that has an ancestor, because I think there is a vault that's like a, I don't know, goblin and ancestor or something. Okay, wizardry. That's not something I plan on getting as this character. Uh, let's pull these guys back into here. Ooh, okay, good. They died. Yeah, I was kind of losing that fight and then suddenly it just died. Hmm. I might just hop back and shoot this guy with some flame. Hmm. Yeah, it's still only like 50% dead though. So, still not perfect. Alright, well, that's the second level of the dungeon collab. Oh, there's another ring. <laughs> Hopefully this one's a bit better than wizardry for this character. Uh, who knows, it could be magic points or something. Oh, it's flight. Uh, that's not that useful. I can already swim. So it's basically only, I can move into lava now, I guess. Which is sure. I guess that's fine. Hey, there's an actual Hepley Aquata altar. To add to the theme of all the Hepley Aquata things. Um... Because I need to... Oh, wait, there's boots there. I need those boots. I need uh, Mac Lab here, not Hamplick one. I've, the Hamplick one is really good, but, like, they didn't get reworked or anything, so... They're not the one I'm trying to try out. Oh. oh what's this bat doing? It's always staying perfectly away from me, because I guess I'm slow. Oh, no. I'm on fire. I just move back from this guy and get my health back. Hey, Sally, what's up? How's it going? Have you tried the new backflip yourself? 
Okay, do I get the whole way on fire again? Uh, oh, that, oh, it did put me out going up the staircase, or was that just... I don't know if that was specifically because I went up the staircase, or just because it took turns. Probably just because it took turns. I think it's just moving that uh, puts out the fire faster. I'm pretty sure stay going up the staircase doesn't count as moving. Like, it doesn't activate... Um, are the animals called acrobat ones and stuff? Oh, what's up with this dude? Chainmail. Huh. Go try polymorph, but let's see. Rat, bat, or a bull python? Let's give it a try. Oh, failed. I've still got more polymorph though. Hey, there we go. It's a bat. I've never had a good opportunity to worship Maglib. I've never had the chance yet. Yeah, I guess it really depends. Like, I actually don't know what the new Maglib's good on, but the old one was definitely good on things like GD and stuff. Oh, I'm getting positive darts thrown at me. Okay, this is currently fine. Gotta be a bitch careful. These was like a curari or something, although I don't think the basic cobalt's come with those, thankfully. Oh, current random character is a demigod. Right, so I guess definitely no opportunity in that case. Huh. Is there like a way to just do random characters that you've never played before? Because that could be interesting. I feel like there's a bot command for that. Oh, rapier? It's not quite what I'm after. Wait, what's it do? 8 damage, 1.2 attack delay? Hmm. I mean, maybe. Oh, heavy flail there. Wait, you can only run the next one on a public IRC channel to choose your next combo? Sure. Oh, right, he's faster than me. Um, can I polymorph him? Bog has an orca or Tenju. I'm going to do it, and then I'm going to Ice Blast him, I think. Oh, uh, well, it didn't work. I might just go straight to the Ice Blasting in that case. Hmm. Oh, it's not killing him as well as I'd like. I'm just going to use the ball, isn't it? Oh, well, I might get some Mason Flails, actually. Yeah, and just use his Flail. It looks okay. Oh, did I just gain three skill with the Flail? Sure. I also check out his armor. I might be able to take on the um, Edmund role. Okay, it's about the same as what I've got. I might put it on. Uh, what does the heavy flail do? It's 1.8 attack delay, so quite slow. Uh, 25 damage. Hmm. See if that's too slow, but it should be better than what I was using, I think. It is plus two at least. Oh, that's a lot of orcs. Let's bring them all back to the corridor while I've got a chance. I thought that you rolled a mummy where you went to worship. Uh. Oh, you want to worship specific gods? What sort of god were you trying to get for a mummy? Are there any new, like, mummy titles? Because I know there's still the Gozag one that I haven't got. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to think of other things. Oh, hey, is that. Not Maglev? Wait, there's Maglev. They are here, yeah, thank goodness. I was worried for a second there. Um, what do I get? I still gain health from killing things. Can I unleash Maglev's destructive might? That's different from before because it costs 8 hit points to a little bit of piety. You can now summon an infernal servant of Mac. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. This one costs 5 hit points to do the might. 8 hit points and a little bit of piety to summon a servant. Your destruction will be augmented by one of the four hells. I guess, is that what you choose to mark? No, I guess not. Maglev will allow you to brand your body with an infernal mark once as the last one. Right. Okay. Well, I guess I'll find out when I get there. I just wanted Ash Rue Gozag. I mean, Gozag could get you a title if you got enough money. <laughs> Are you like the Rue the most, though? You get fast, uh, faster sacrifices. Right with the uh, faith, I guess. And then you can sacrifice your aptitudes, right? Just for, just for the fun. 
They have like negative three aptitude. <laughs> Do I want a shield? I kind of want a shield. It's just a buckler, so if I just get like five shield skill, I can totally put this on. Yeah, I mean, that barely even slows my attack delay because I mean, I'm already heavy. That's not quite working. I'll try flame it. Right, at least it's got a little bit of more evocation than some of my other skills. Because I think it started quite high. Ooh, Ring of Evasion. Yes, please. I'll take off. I think I'll take off the Wizardry. I have no spells, so that doesn't do a lot for me. Oh, you know, that lot sucks, but the other options were worse. Well, I mean, it's not, I mean you do have to kind of get the... Abilities online fast, right? Oh man, that must be kind of painful though, having like negative three new aptitudes. It's like the opposite of being Ash and Zari. Oh, hey there, Ice Beast. Um, hmm, uh huh. Isn't perfect. Right, it did manage to kill it. I don't think I can get any cold resist though, which is a bit of a shame. I'll draw out power so good on mummy though, because you can get rid of confusion with it, can you? It's like four potions at once. Yeah, I guess you do need to kind of need something. Alright, I guess that's another reason to go like Ash and Zari on the mummy as well. It's like, not only do you have the bad aptitudes, but you also get... Oh man, it's no good. You also get uh, immunity to confusion. You can turn it into a brainworm, a crocodile, and ice beast, but it's only 50%. Um, I think I might. I'm not sure about a crocodile, though. <laughs> oh, so much for that hop. Well, a brainworm's better, right? I'm pretty sure a brainworm's better. I mean, I definitely killed it easy enough. Um, I don't have a thing to, like, slow this down or something. Oh, well, I just guess I just bash it. There was always a risk of that black bear going berserk, though, which would have not been the best. Oh, is there like an altar here to Kiku or something? It's gotta be something in here. No, oh, there's like a mini ossuary with a potion, which I had a scroll. I should probably read the scroll. I got like so many of those. Got identify, yay. There we go. Do we have a cure? We've got a mutation. Haste. Oh, I guess I'll just do some scrolls. Um, Immolation, I don't have fire resist yet. Revelation and teleport. Okay, teleport's good. Oh no. Ogre again. Um, okay. Oh, the healing and magic restore is real nice and kind of cancellation for a few things. Right, yeah, I guess when you can't drink like brilliance or um, magic potions, it's really nice to have something. Um, I'll hop back. Man, these corner ogres. Again, just one space. Okay. Oh, Guardians have, would destroy me. Tendril Scorpion. Hmm. I don't like this at all. Hmm. How do I get rid of this ogre? Um. I mean, I could just charm it and tell it to run away, but that doesn't help me defeat it. I might do that anyway. Yeah, because I feel like that giant spike club could take me out a couple of hits. Alright. Uh, let's go down to here. Hopefully that's far enough away that it can't get to me or anything. Do you gonna move up to me? It's like steady back. Anyway, what do I want? I want, um, I want more fighting. That's reasonably cheap. I can bring it up to like 10. Might as well just get the base of flails as well. I won't get more shields just yet. I'll get that in a little while. Oh, mummies want to be mage, but no potions means no. Uh, no, it means MP management is pain. Right. Yeah, because I definitely got with like the Sephmana ones and stuff before just to help with that sort of problem. Oh, okay. Ouch. Oh, do I just tab this guy? Am I? That's mm, not quite working. Let's give this another try. Hey, there we go. One hit. 
But that's kind of how slow weapons are, these heavy weapons. Either take something out of one hit or it's absolutely struggle. Oh yes, yeah, Sifmata is probably fine, but you don't want to die to confusion. Exactly, yeah. Whoa, plus 10 mace? 21 damage, 1.1 1 .1 attack delay. I mean, it's almost as much damage. It's better attack delay, and it does venom on top of it, so... I mean, this is a good starter weapon. Yeah, this feels way better. All right, let's hit the priest, because that's the main worry there. Uh, I can now gain health from killing. That's an old mag club ability. That's nothing new. That's kind of what makes it excellent on the genius and stuff. I wonder whether I'll try a mummy on my streak. Probably not. Probably not a good idea. I don't know. I've always struggled with the mummies. Oh, it's another ogre. Can I polymorph it? Ice Beast, Brainworm, Fire Bat. I failed. Hmm. I'll just hit it. It's going all right. I can bounce back once, but um, only once. I got buffed early, though the healing before the low party gain. Uh, well, the health was a joke. Right. Okay. That's not too bad because I remember it used to scale very strongly with the piety. So um, yeah. By the time you got to like six piety, it was doing a lot, but it didn't start off doing a lot. Oh, that's kind of good. Um, I don't have a fire resist. Do you have one more polymorph? Turn to Wyvern? Uh, sure, I might just go hit it. Ooh. What is this troll? Um, I don't think I can polymorph that into something better. Black map, no, definitely not. I'll say with the human, the human got buffed up with the like the magic thing as well, like the magic points back and kill. Huh. Do they follow like the same sort of formula or is it a bit different? I guess the magic point one would be less. Also it scales, but it's less uh worthless early. Yup, that makes sense. Uh I don't know about this troll. Feels really early for a troll. I might just Go upstairs. But I'm gonna have to fight it at some stage, right? Actually, I might go fight that ogre upstairs now. Oh, uh, no, not. I just complete the level. Oh, there it is. Ah, whatever. It doesn't really notice me. Okay, where can I go down? That's the troll staircase? Wait, no, it's the unexplored staircase with whole Maggie. Now there are war acts of flaming and some swamp dragon scales, but. Um, hmm. I might just bring a taste potion. Doesn't feel ideal. Okay, she missed me with a fire at least, which made a huge difference, otherwise I could have been in big trouble there. I guess I'll pick up a rag so I can kill hydras with it. Uh, I'll see if a small dragon arm is worthwhile soon. Alright. There's a time to, to kill the trolls now, because I still got the haste on. Okay. There we go. Got rid of the troll. Yeah, that would have been so impossible without that haste going. It's a good thing I got a lot to use out of it. So, more armor class, more evasion, and I get a poison resist. I think the, um, I think the swamp dragon arm is worthwhile. It's either that or go with, like, troll leather armor or something. What can I identify? Do I finally know? I don't really have any potions. I'll do this. Blinking. Alright. I can almost do that naturally. Like, got the little hop. Oh, I don't want distortion. But it's always good to have some more ways to get around. Uh... Alright, what's this guy got? I know I had something. It has an oak bow, not much else. Oh, that, there was just a little oak that had the uh, cold resist armor. Do I actually grab that cold resist armor? Not because I want to wear it normally, but because it might be good if I made like an ice cave or something. I don't know if it would be worthwhile. I have to check out which armor class it gives. Oh, there's some amnesia <laughs> to add to my spellcasting things I don't need. But thankfully, I've been 
I mean, like, fighting full spellcasting stuff, because I know sometimes you feel like you should have got a spellcast or something because you get the magic points and the wizardry and the magic regen. Oh, I got flesh and cold. Huh. I put it on instead of the flight. But it means I could probably drop that ring mail. Whoa. Right, it's a turn to drop each thing. Huh. Should be a bit more careful with that, but I know this creature's around. Alright, let's check out the shop. Uh, see if it's got an end game thing for me. Got a bad likes of flaming. I don't think there's any end game weapons in there, though. None of those were high tier. Oh, plus two mace. That's not going to complete with my plus ten mace of venom. Yeah, I'm not in a hurry to find a better weapon, because, I mean, mace is, like, one of the worst base types, but... This is going to last a long time just because it's plus 10. Ow. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's a Steve Drake. Oh, it's got friends. Maybe not. I think I'll go somewhere else. It's a bird. I need like a fire breathing bird or something. Are there any birds in real life that breathe fire? Presumably not. I don't know, I know there's like some crazy beetles that like shoot out really hot steam and stuff. Like, I actually think they're bombardier beetles, right? But I don't think there's any real birds that shoot out fire or nothing. Uh huh. I guess I just move up and hit these guys. Yeah, this is a little trick. Oh my god, they didn't find the tempo. In fact, I think it's literally all of them. Yep. That guy's got a plus five flail, right? I did use a flail for, no, I used a mace for a little while, right? I used the heavy mace that I got off Edmund. Oh, okay. It's plus four morning stuff freezing. I think I can kill this guy. But I was doing more damage than I was expecting. I guess a morning stuff is a pretty good weapon. Let's take a look. 27 damage, one attack delay. Compared to a 24 damage, 0.9 attack delay. Is that actually competitive with what, what I'm using? It's not quite as accurate, it's got freezing instead of venom, but it's actually pretty close to being competitive. I reckon it won't take much more skill before that makes sense. Alright, uh, what do I want? I actually want a little bit of armor skill, like maybe 5, see if that makes a difference. I bring the evocations up to 5 as well, and I guess I just get more skill with my maces. What is the min delay on this thing? Probably not that much. 14. Is that higher than, like, a demon weapon? I guess demon we weapons are just particularly low with their requirements. What's this? Berserk Rage? Alright. Uh, I haven't got to throw it yet, but I should grab the javelins. In fact, I probably should try get some throwing at some stage, just so I don't die to the first Hydra I meet or something. At least those have been moved later to, um... God, what's it called? Later to the lab, but they still can definitely be a threat. Also, I could enchant something. I could just enchant my helmet? I could enchant... I feel like I gotta enchant something. Um, I might do my helmet. I want to keep, like, a reason amount round for, like, heavy armor later on, but I think I need something early on to keep me alive. Ooh, trying to venom. I might just put one of these guys up. But that's not an area to stick around. Definitely not. Uh, that was actual ice blast. I think it's a artifice where I can start with the ice blast and then not find ice blast. If I'm correct, I can find the other ones. Like roots or something instead. Oh, wait, there's an invisible guy here, isn't there? I was trying to wait for one of these guys to move up, and of course, that's not going to work with the invisible guys. Right, well, I get the base of flails to 14. That seems like the obvious thing to do. How's the delay on the morning star here? Oh, 16 needed for that one. Kind of funny with, like, the zombie unseen horrors actually being, like, seen horrors. Because they're perfectly visible. Because I guess the yeah, um, zombies don't keep a lot of the attributes. That's all the... I still haven't tried the new necromancers, but I don't want to try those on the streak. Okay.
Because I think it was just a low-level necromancy spells that got changed. But I don't want to go. I don't want to be out in the open here. Definitely not. Um, that one is only shallow, isn't it? Oh. I might actually start a teleport here, I think. Um. Okay. Still not giving me a choke point here. Um. Try him on these guys. Oh, the ah, I might teleport out again because he has the dragons back. Ooh, I'm feeling rather wounded. Um, I'm gonna teleport very soon. There we go. Yeah, that was a pretty sketchy situation. Wait, what's that? Why did the owl oh, there web on the ambulance? I see why it didn't pick up. Regen as well, so it's actually a pretty good one. I should just put it on. Yeah, I mean, that's probably, unless I find an artifact one, that's something I'll potentially have all game, I guess. Oh, I'll just get into here and I'll take like an attack or two, just in case that both those guys try and surround me. Um, I got a Wand of Flame. In fact, I started with a Wand of Flame on this character. What's up with my auto pickup? Yeah, it definitely seems to be off. At first I thought it was just because the um, ammo was on a web or something. But then the potion didn't pick up. It was obvious that something was up. The wife are going to beat the other one? Of course they both get to me at the same time. I was hoping to bring one of them upstairs, but oh well. Yeah, because the wyvern, I think, was faster despite being a zombie. It's just a, the other one kept getting, getting in his way. Oh. I was going to pull him. Um, well, this is fine. I want to pull something upstairs. There we go. Uh, how's the staircase for going back down? It's not too bad, I don't think. Oh, zombies can't use stairs? Oh, true, true. So I can be a little bit safer at the staircases. Also, hey there, do you want down? How's it going? Wait, I got a new mark, uh, mark level ability here. I got... Unleash destruction? Wait, is, is this hit point cost scaling? It's costing 7 now. I'm sure that used to be 5. I can summon an infernal servant. Is that still a chance of being hostile? Is that how it works? Let's take a look. Beware that the uh, armies of chaos are prone to infighting and sometimes a hostile demon may answer the ritual alongside your summon servant. Oh, alongside. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, so obviously I've got to get the skill to use this, but I should try and get my, um... Weapon delay first. Oh, it's a percentage of maximum hit points right now. Right, that makes sense, I guess. I can't even bring the zombie upstairs. Oh, well. Uh, Draco Omega is thinking about changing it somehow to be a bit less. Like, not scaling with fighting skill, for example. Right. Huh. I presume if it's damage scales, well, it could still be worthwhile later on, but yeah. Hmm, interesting. Because I know the old one, it was like, you had two separate destruction ones. Like the greater and lesser one. Does it actually not cost any piety? Can I just do it for health? I gotta give it a try on this dude. I don't even know what it does. Huh. Missed the, missed the guy with the fraud, but... Sure. I think it's probably... I should use it as a rage attack, because I don't have another one of those, so that could be quite good. I hope it goes well, too, but now I certainly hope it goes well as well, because I don't know how this new backlip works. They seem to have a lot of the same abilities. Oh, two-handed ogre. Oh, no, three of my staircases as well. I hate that. Um, can I slip a polymorph between the cracks here? I don't think so, but I might be able to try a 
construction? Did something. I'm gonna try a servant, but it might not work. Oh, it got something out. Um. Hmm. Oh, I don't think my guy would be so happy unless it's immune to ice. Oh, it is immune to ice. So it should be fine if I just ice blast in here. Wait, what? Why is it not fine with being ice blasted? Or is it? And I'm just getting in warning that I'm not meant to get. I don't even know. Um, can I polymorph this ogre? 44 percent to a glowing brain. I don't think that makes it better. I don't know. I'm a bit worried about my health here. Do I have any healing potions? No. Actually, I might drink the berserk. I think that's all right because I'm on a staircase. It gives me enough health that I'm not going to die to the two-headed ogre. There we go. That's better. Okay, which one of these staircases was the one that I can go down the best? Ice Blaster's physical? Oh, it's like the um, permafrost eruption. It's like 50% physical. Right, okay, that makes sense, I guess. So just warning. Uh... Man, this level's crazy. It's got creatures all over it. And it's kind of one of those open ones where you don't have any cover or nothing either. Distant Port Callus. I don't think I've got a magic mapping yet. Um... Oh, hey. Not that I need one, because I've turned up at the entrance anyway. A drop of the definitely useless stuff. Um, I keep the flight. Well, there's probably just water in here, if anything. Okay, let's give it a try. Come on. Oh, I, oh there's water. That's what I want to see. It's a brachia. Okay, get myself some boomerangs. I'll go to the other side. Uh, I seem to remember this one being not too bad, but also not having very great loot. But when I've previously done it. Oh, makes it not useless, but it's nice, uh, mute enemies or friends, you guess. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, probably a good thing it does physical, because there are plenty of, like, really ice-resistant or immune creatures early on. What about my after? I was after a little bit of invocations, I think. I want to try and get these back level abilities going. Yeah, try and get the Infernal Servant a bit more reliable. Brodex is, like, the first idea weapon I've seen. Um... No, I've really spent the axes or anything, but I could swap out what I'm trading. Although, I should also get the throwing, I guess, um, at some stage. I think there's a flight potion down here if I remember. Oh, some ring of flight. Huh. Well, I guess, uh, good luck if you're a Conklin, then. You won't be able to fly. I guess you don't really need it, though. All right, what have we got? Some charming in here. There's, where's the main flight push? It looks like there's only one entrance into the main area here. Sometimes I think there's an entrance on both sides. What's this dude got? A chopper dart, sure. Oh, something happened. Something about some frigid hells. Uh, your destruction is augmented by the power of Cosinus. What does that mean? Huh? Wait, what's up with this thing? Oh, wait, it's got the long hop here at level 13? I didn't realize those were listed there. I guess that's a new thing. Does that mean I get, uh... Oh, yeah, this earlier, but, uh, and it had boots of flight? But in the middle? I mean, hopefully, I guess the boots of flight that would be bad. Oh, start off ID. Right. I mean, I guess that's uh, better if you're a Coglin, right? Because at least they can wear the boots. Is there any race that, like, can't wear boots apart from genies that can already fly? Because that might actually be, like, a, a more general way of letting people fly. 
All right, well, there's tons of potions in here. Um, because with the potions, you get the mummies that can't have them. With the rings, you get the coglins that can't have them. But they're pretty sure with boots, like, everyone can wear them. Oh, no, 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 no. Ogres and trolls can't wear them. Never mind. I don't know what this frigid pals of Cursitis is doing for me. Uh, can, I don't think I can describe what this menu either. Oh, the bardic races. I guess there's a ton of races, actually, in that case. Yeah. Um, I didn't hear, but it's not perfect. Not really a choke point. And the weird size ones, yeah, like the ogres and stuff, definitely cut or oddies, I guess, these days. Um, hmm, I could dig. I tend to summon a servant, see if they're icy. I mean, I got an icy one last time. I don't know if it's related to my pals with Cosinus or why it's icy. Oh, wait, Kirari, isn't it? Having poison resist, does that protect me from getting slowed by the Kirari? Or is it just like a chance? I thought there was still a chance, but I'm not sure. I know with enemies that makes them immune to it. Um, ooh, an ugly thing, sure. I'll get rid of the electric eel, and then... Is that a color I want, or do I want to change its color? Let's see. Actually, it probably is, because I don't really have any resist to anything. Um... Hmm. I really got the throwing, but I'll throw a boomerang, I guess. Okay. Oh, I could use my maglev destruction and see if that was worthwhile or not. I'm not sure if it is. Um, I will see. Uh, do I have gloves? I don't think I do. And what am I missing? I'm mostly gloves and a cloak, so I guess just a cloak now. And I might just go quickly check for one of those. Nope, okay. Uh, I'll go down another level, but I've got to do the lair at some stage. Oh, the Minotaur. I don't like it when I, like, go down and get a Minotaur reasonably early. Oh, I do have Revelations. I've got Endless Revelations. Not that I need it. Hey, Eric, I've got Poison Resist. I can... I want to try my... Oh, I'll get the sub down again. It seems alright. Right, so it's not always an icy one. A bowl of draining. What other things can I get? I don't know. Anyway, I don't need the intelligence. I'll just go into here, I guess. Right, so the servant's costing the piety, but the bolt is not costing the piety. Oh, so many death yaks. I hope I don't have to go in there, even if it's got a nice cloak. A distressingly furry cloak. I feel like a cloak is something you'd want to have lots of fur and like, keep you warm. A oh, death yak? Oh, a artifact tablet. Artifact gloves. I don't have any fire this, though. Um... A death rate could be a problem. Do I have a fog or something? No. Right, I see. So any of those plants still like what you would uh, like would be all safe from them. Um I still guarding my spiders. Gotta choose one of those endings. The fire one's probably pretty bad. Oh, Actually, I'm not liking any of these endings, to be honest. And the pre leg gauntlet, unfortunately, so. Yeah. Just better a problem. Right, if I release these guys, the yaks get to me, so I can't get the cloak. Um. I mean. Huh. Super awkward. I could probably skip that one, but it seems wrong to skip it. Um. Oh, uh, don't want to go the fiery crab way. I think this is the right way to go in. What's this guy got? It's got a spot of cold and stuff. I see. I think it's the right way to go in. And then I can grab the sack of spiders. Right, and then there's only one way to go in the center, so I gotta take that one. 
Uh, unleash some destruction on this dude. Okay. The question is, which one of these and how do I get through it? I can't do the fiery one, surely not. I don't have a resistance potion or something. Or a ring of fire resist. Um... Oh, the rooms are so bad, you can, uh, you can prepare, but the Minotaur terrifies you. Yeah, um, I don't know what to do here. There's enough terrifying creatures. Can I get a... I don't scroll with poison either. What are all these guys? We've got a Centaur Warrior, Malia, the Centaur Warrior. Um, I'm like an apportation or something. I don't think so. I gotta try this, but okay. Ah, oh, I'm on the exit. I don't think I risk the loot. I think I just go because oh, straight into the Minotaur. Uh oh. I do the sack of spiders. I didn't manage to get it constructed, but I got a Kalikavora out at least. Is that a new sprite? It looks different. Something doesn't look right about that. Anyway, I might unleash the summit. Okay, it's a little icy one again. I should take what this guy has. Plate armor and some javelins. Um, I'm gonna stand back and unleash some destruction. There we go. I mean, the Minotaur wasn't too bad, even if I saw it immediately. And it's got some... Oh, a robe of regen and intelligence. I'm not quite the right sort of character for a robe, but I guess I'll pick it up. Got an orc bow, an orc bow of electrocution, and a short bow... A short sword of electrocution. Galave of draining? Huh. Kind of disappointed by this loot here. I don't think I even need that plate armor. Oh, did it get new art? Yeah, it definitely looks different. I'll look it up close. Its face looks kind of funny. It's, uh, maybe just like not quite seeing how that goes together, but it looks like a, it's got like a big funny gaping mouth. I'm not sure. Anyway, let me get out of here. I don't think there's anything left for me in there. Ow, this guy had. Pretty hard. All the spiders hit so hard. They they do it that sort of like early point of the game. Um, I don't know if I should, but I'll unleash some destruction. Oh, I think I missed. Can I unleash some destruction? Does that affect Rose? Is that a lightning bolt or something? I still haven't figured out like what types of destruction I get exactly. Oh, a bottle draining against an undead dude. Yeah, that doesn't work quite so well. I guess uh, I guess it's sort of a little random. Can I see its damage? I don't think I can, unfortunately. It'd be nice to know how much I was doing. Oh, it's do dude with nets. Well, I might be marked, but at least he's dead. Oh, he said, I wish I'd worked less. I mean, it was his last job, right? That's what he sometimes says. I think that this is his last job. Oh, I want his nets. Um, I, okay. I'll drop the egg. But wait, I have a ring of fire now? When did I get that one? Did I get that off the Minotaur? I must have, because I didn't have it going into, like, the... Oh, ow. There's a fight. Um, I might just get out of here. I want my health back before I go fight those guys properly. I oh, want your evocation, by the way. It's uh, something like five. It's not huge. Oh, you can read full description for those things you think? Maybe? Actually, the... Right, but like the abilities and stuff, I probably could. It probably says, does it say... Oh, it does say over here when you read the description it's doing 3d8 damage. I'm guessing that scales up. Channels a blast of hellish piercing ice, cold lightning, or negative energy on targeted creature. Right, so that one's based on cosine as the piercing ice. What about the rest of them? Whew. Man, those rocks. They do so much damage, but hey, at least I'm alive.
Oh god, irradiate ignition in a flame. I don't know, maybe I'll try and get some ignition or something later on. Oh hey, maybe that's exactly what I was to say because I got meant to lay on that demon where Pete's god. Um, I guess I just stand back and blast them. Oh, I can bring out my own demon too. Let's do it. A red one, is that any good? I don't know. Uh, it's kind of awkwardly out the front though. It's also doing some good damage, so... <laughs> yeah, it's like straight up killed him. I guess it doesn't matter if it's... Drying on its own. I imagine fire is, um, normal. Oh, probably. It might have got replaced by the Cosinus Ice. That would make sense. 23 damage, 0.5 attack delay. This is 0.7 attack delay, 20 something damage. Um, yeah, this looks better. Although it's probably got down 21 damage because I lost the strength. I'd love to charge it up, but yeah, it's definitely a good weapon to have. Right, you've got a charm armor for me. No, charm weapon, I mean. Charm armor I've already got, I think. Oh, fog. That'd be useful a little bit earlier. <laughs> but I had that, like, uh... Oh, what was it called? The guy that brings out the foul pestilence, the uh, death rake. That's a pile driver. All right, and an amulet of faith. The amulet of faith will probably just be for swapping around titles later on. Honestly, <laughs> I... Don't, mm, I mean, my party's actually not quite keeping up at the moment, so I almost could put it on. What do I want? I'm just not that heavy. I might get a little bit more shield skill. I still don't have a big shield, though. I might get a little bit more invocations, see if I can get the bolts to do some more damage or something. I'll defeat a mod, a mod to become a Maymon, pretty much. I mean, I can summon out the demons just like he does. And I can run around with his whip. <laughs> what is... It's cash of fruit? That looks different. There's so many new sprites. Oh, is that another cash of fruit or is that something else? Yeah, it is. Huh. Get an apricot. Nice. And, oh, not this time. I want one from this pile as well. Come on, game. I get an apple. Excellent. I mean, that could always be an apple tree. Who knows what sort of tree that is when it gives apricots and apples. These look fine, I think. Is there a corridor? Oh, they're not in the corridor. Uh, can I have a little body here? Just to fill up one of those spaces. And it can reach attack as well, which is great. Um, okay, this is doing all right. At least I got the regen to keep me healthy. Uh, don't have a cold resist though, which is a little unfortunate with the rhyme drakes. Although there was some chance of an alarm trap being set off with the guys blinking around everywhere. Oh, I do want to read this identifier. I'm going to go with the... Oh, I should do the portrait, actually. There we go. Get the curing identified. Probably a sensible idea. It's a good thing I haven't been confused earlier. Um, Where's a good choke point here? I think this is probably a decent uh, place to take these guys. Yeah, no, they were smart enough to figure out the other way around. It's not like that earlier group of guys they had. They all seemed to be able to figure out their way around the choke point. It all swam me. Uh, I mean, again, I'm going to rely on these guys not being very smart and trying going up here. Yeah, it looks like they've all gone to the same side. Oh, um, I'm out of inventory space. What can I drop? I've actually got so many curaries, I can just straight up drop the poison darts. 
Oh, it's meant to be like throwing at some stage, although how much do I need throwing when I can throw balls of cold at people with maglev, which I should do some more often. Alright. Mm, don't think I grabbed the rover of willpower. Does go through a bed of health throwing the destruction at people, but it does give me a rage option. It doesn't cost piety, so like I can just spam it if I want, right? I wonder how feasible it would be to make a character that's completely based around doing maglev destruction and nothing else. Because I know uh, there was like the bat challenge that basically did that, right? Where you uh, turned to a vampire bat. Um, oh, another dude. I'm actually going through a bit of health. I might bring out the spiders. Okay. I will get more invocations just because it's fun zapping everyone with the uh, things here. Oh, good. My legs are stronger so I can finally go up the staircases properly. Uh... I should go up very soon. All right. Um, I'll see you summon even boss. Oh, even summon Scorpion just like a Maven. Yep, definitely, definitely cosplaying as a Maven by accident. This game. Oh, I want to identify good old. I wanted to do the scroll because I wanted to charm my weapon. Hey, perfect, a charm weapon. That's been an even better, man, but this is a, one as an enchanted weapon. Should I just quiver up the... Or is that the destruction? I think I might. Oh, whoops. Uh, <laughs> actually use my quiver properly. God, Vile Clutch, not just Bog, sure. I kind of like tapped a. Was the character's got lots of invocation, like a mountain drop or something? And just to like blast people with full on destruction was one of those. See how that goes. Uh, what's. Oh, wait, it worked anyway. I should have lined it up with both the guys, but. Man, it's doing a good job of actually lining it up for me, even though I'm not doing a very good job of lining it up. Alright, two identifiers. I can do. I'll do another scroll. And oh, another scroll. It's because I got the largest stacks of those torment. Unfortunately, no death tallies, but or something to go with that. That's the snake prince. Let's not go there just yet. What about branches? I got a snake prince, and I don't know about my second one just yet. How much does it cost to zap this bolt? Nine hit points. Right, so it is reasonably uh, costly, but it seems to do good damage, at least. Try it on the Hydra. Ooh. Got it drained. Hey, there we go. Four-headed Hydra's dead. And I think all the Hydras have the same amount of health, which is something, at least. Huh. I can't even hop back to somewhere. Well, oh, that didn't help. There we go, that's better. In fact, I could actually just blast one of some of these guys, see if that's worth it. Because it does get like a row of them, although it's probably better just meleeing them at that point. Uh, and I think all the bolts might have the same sort of behavior in terms of... Uh, Going through enemies. So I don't have to worry about like some being able to hit the enemies and some not being able to hit them and stuff. Because I think that that was a problem with the old uh, mag levels. The uh, bolts had like different properties on how they targeted and stuff. Hmm.
Okay, this has got to be the trolls. So uh, there's got to be no way there's something else. Um, can't hit both of those guys. Not quite lined up. Yeah, I mean, I might have already seen it, but the hobbies were dead giveaway of what it was. All right, well, third level then, and I'm about to fight fight he does that. Your destruction is all big to that was the last one I got, so I haven't got the um, infernal mic yet. We'll see what that one offers. Uh, oh. These elephants hiding from my destruction. I might just go up, because otherwise I'll get pushed off that staircase. On oh, the distant past, it could do iron shot orbs of electricity. Right, and then the, like, the range of those is like completely different. So if you got the iron shot, you might not be able to hit someone. Or you might get an orb of electricity when you had no resistance or something. I know that there was definitely some awkwardness to the old one. Um, the old major uh, minor destruction was fairly interesting, though. Um, well, fairly good. But I know the major one had some awkwardness. I'm probably going to have to go up before this guy gets to me. Or oh, later were quite dangerous. Yeah, the other ladder was quite dangerous. Yeah, just like blowing yourself up. Because I know with all this, uh, all the electricity, not destruction, you've definitely got to have the resistance to it. Oh, I don't think I found the way. No, I have found boots. That's cloak I haven't found. It'd be funny if I found the barding first, though. Oh, these guys are actually kind of hard to hurt. Might just back up, but... Okay. I gotta stay back for the um, shark so it doesn't berserk up. There we go. Yeah, that's nice and dead. <laughs> Uh, Sound of Fire just got all these emulation scrolls that got, because it got like six emulation or something. Also, is this major destruction like super quiet or something? Is that even making sound? I always feel like it's uh, had its ability to make sound being forgotten or something. I might actually just get some more invocations, see how that works. I don't know. Because it's like shooting balls of lightning, which I think be noisy. Oh, it did make a little bit of sound. Like, my noise being a barely bunch, though. That ball of draining didn't make any sound, though. Wait, did the Hydra make any noise or something? I don't know. Ooh. I'll spring that. My zap was another bolt. All right. Oh, they're all lined up. Perfect. So you would get, like, a ball of draining through all of them. Actually, I guess any of the bolts will do damage to all of them. What do I want to get? Um, I'll do a scroll again. So, God, silence. I don't think I can do my ability as well as silence, but it's still a good thing to have, because in theory, I can do some melee as well. All right, last level here. Ooh, a little uh, snail I might try and get rid of. Uh, I just had to go up. Oh, good, I got rid of the snail. Um, yeah, we'll just zap this guy again, because it's almost dead. Hmm. Yeah, I'm loving how quiet this is, but I'm not sure it's meant to be this quiet, honestly. <laughs> It looks like big blasty bolts of stuff that should be noisy. Um, all right, I I think I might save the enchant armor this time round. Try and uh, get a good suit of I don't know gold dragon armor. Who knows something good. 
We'll see what I find. Um, I think I could wait Crystal Blade if I found this one. I might drop the old mace. It's not competitive anymore. I why did I get slowed by that guy? Did not miss? It must have missed or something, because I'm pretty sure I've got no cold resist or anything. Not that cold resist even stops you from getting slowed, I don't believe. Um... I guess I can't see invisible. For some reason, they always think of Barachi as seeing invisible, but they don't. They, what, they they can see further, I think? Something like that. Well, that didn't quite work. I went through a decent amount of hit points as well. Does it cost 10 now? So it's still 9. Yeah, it's up to 10. Has this damage gone up much, though, to kind of make up for that? Let's see. It's 3d14. I mean, it used to be on 3d8. I'm not sure how much of that's from getting more skill and how much of that, whether you just get some by leveling up or quite how this works. Because if this damage doesn't, like, go up with your level, then it could become pretty useless later on. We'll see. At the moment, it's definitely pretty good. Uh Ooh, I might just back up into this corridor. Try to get a little bit of health back just by fighting a melee. There we go. Oh, child weapon, nice. Uh got a choke point here. I might take it, although I'll try and damage these guys before I have to. Alright, well, this is my ending, isn't it? So it's probably the one with the... Some sort of troll, the... Is it a troll shaman or something? Deep troll shaman? Oh, something like that, isn't it? And there's also usually some catablephus guys and maybe some death yaks around. Oh, there's the death yaks and catablephus. Whoa, that looks different. I mean, it's still just calcifying dust, but yeah, dumb. Let me change how it looks. All right, I might just bounce back because I don't want to try too many more of these guys. Oh, try to a decent number. I might have to teleport. We'll see. E hmm. Now nah, I might just do some spiders, see if I can back up a bit. I'm gonna hit my own spider, but oh well. It's worth it, get rid of those guys, I think. Oh, it made it easier to see? And I think there were rides and clouds that looked kind of similar as well, like maybe the basic fog or something. No, it definitely does make it a lot easier to see. Oh, with your energy. Yup. No, that makes sense. Uh, I'll sap this guy at range. I don't think he can do much until it gets close. No, I definitely like the new look of it. It's just interesting how many sprites have been reworked in the time since I've last played. Uh, let's look at this armor. So we've got... Oh, give me an AC increase, but I lose the poison resist. Hmm. I don't know. It's like half an AC. So it's pretty much the same potato does. It's just swapping around resist, really. I'm a panda moment demonic at the moment. Right, because my invocation is the highest. Which is actually kind of funny. It's bratchy because their the whole thing is like rebelling against the gods. Which is why their um, aptitude with the invocations is like slightly lower than their other aptitudes. It's kind of funny that I'm, uh, oh, close the strength, that I'm, uh, like a full on god worshipping one here. <laughs> I actually got my highest skill with the invocations. And I think if you max out your invocations, oh, it might be with no god, you get a special title, which I believe I've had. Uh, I can't remember what it is. It's something like god hated, I think.
more spells add to my collection. I don't think that's the way anyone's so really want. Also, have I seen a cloak yet? I mean, not necessarily, but it'd be kind of funny if I haven't. I'm gonna quickly go check on that. Ah, no cloaks. Maybe the Orcish Mines will have one for me. I didn't get uh, Crazy Youth either to have one. Um, yeah, I definitely should get more vacations because it's actually getting kind of expensive. I should get a little bit more fighting. Mason Flail is good. Um, I'll bring shields up to 12 so I can get a better shield if I find one lying around. Evocations could go up to 8. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, what was that? Vampire. Oh, whoops. Huh? Why does it say you don't see any hostile things in range when I tried using F to do it off my quiver? Is that right? I thought usually when you tried doing a thing that had no targets off your quiver with F, it was fine. It just brought out the targeter. I don't know. I'm confused. I don't want to go in there because there's a uh, stone giant. Huh. Well, I guess it's just a choice of going down or going into the stone giant. Uh, I should try to get rid of this guy so it doesn't take me out with archery or something. Let's check how I play now if it compares. It's probably not that good. Yeah, I lose about the same amount of evasion as I gain armor class, maybe even slightly more. Okay. Uh, can't quite get to that last bit of pie I've been not using it for a while, so maybe I'll get there soon. We'll see. Should go up, actually, I think. Yeah, it's probably enough damage. Alright, well, not all these good old archer dudes. They also have, like, uh, Bob Bob and you get close. It's not just their rage weapon. I feel like those are probably the main threat. Um, well, I guess there's also his tough melee things. But at least with melee things, they got more chances to zap them down before they get up to me. Also, I think the cost is actually getting more noticeable by destruction because... My regen used to be, like, paying for some of it, but now it's not quite as noticeable. Oh, hey, there we go. There's a mark. I'm a champion of chaos, which I think is an old title. And I have a mark of the ex of execution, which what does that do? Permanently carves an infernal mark on yourself, forever tainting your body and soul in service of the destroyer. So long as you continue to worship Maclev, this mark will grant you the following power. A demonic incarnation of murder lies dormant within your soul. Whenever you kill an enemy in melee, there is a small chance for it to awaken and manifest as a maelstrom of scythe-like blades enveloping you. These blades will attack whatever you do and also retaliate whenever you successfully dodge an enemy attack. You have the ability to rampage swiftly towards enemies while possessed. But if you spend more than a short while doing anything other than attacking, the demonic presence will go dormant inside you once again. Oh, okay. So you get like a... I don't know, a crazy demon form going or something. Oh. But it only works with your melee attacks. Let me look at the other ones. What's about safety? Uh, mark of... Hemoclasm. What does that do? Um, when you kill enemies, they have a small chance to explode in a violent rain of gore, which damages adjacent foes proportional to the victim's maximum health. Enemies who die to this explosion will always explode themselves. Right, so you can kind of get a... Against big groups of creatures, you can kind of get a chain reaction going, I guess? Hmm, uh huh. What was the last word? Mark of the Legion. 
Permanently cast an infernal marker. That's the same as the other ones. Your infernal servant ability is replaced with infernal legion, allowing you to call in a continuous stream of weakened demons over time. You may also unleash Maclev's destruction through your summoned allies without harming them. Huh. How much melee do I do? I mean, I do in theory do some melee. And turning into like a little executioner dude sounds kind of fun, but I'm not sure if it makes any sense. Um, Blowing people up also sounds kind of fun. I don't know which one they want to try first. And then there's a legion one, which could be fun. Um... I don't know. I'm, I'm really curious how this execution works, so I might take it. Oh, okay. That was me getting paid when I took the ability. I'll do some melee on these guys, see if I can start it up. Oh, wow. Like an actual execution with a demon whip. That's kind of funny. What does it change my damage? What does it do? I know it lets me retaliate. Oh, the rampage up to things. Man, that was actually destroying those guys, although it doesn't stick around forever. Uh, so far it's been reasonably easy to get on. Does it melt it or thing, or... Is it just a free little executioner buff? Uh... Oh, I get it. I'll just like kill the last one of those guys, of course. Uh, let me just hide around this corner. I think there's way too many priests in there just to run in. Oh, you want to test it? See if you're still connected, I guess, Sally? A mark. Oh, you can actually uh, query it too. Right, because the, the Maclev ones, did, the, did they get added like immediately, like the bot help? I seem to remember that being a thing, like they got added like literally immediately. It's kind of nice, because I know the bot's often out of date. Uh, I'm going to melee these guys as well. See how often. Does it give the chance? So let's see. Oh, that's the Mark of the Legion, right? Where you get to summon all the guys that you can shoot through. That could be really decent, just like hiding behind your guys um, and heading with the Major Destruction, or whatever it's actually called. Do try to summon a demon. This is a no that I'm the one who summons demons here. Oh, you got like disconnected or something, message failed to send, right. Oh. Uh. Like Twitch seems to be fairly good at keeping people connected, but it's not perfect. I know sometimes I've like lost connection to my own chat and stuff. Oh, she added them at the same time. Uh Dio committed. Wait, who added them regretted next? And they're ready to go. Oh, I thought they were added, like, I thought they were both added by, like, uh, Draco and Mega. Um, so I thought it was different people, given how well they timed up. Uh, let's move forward. I think I'm better balleting this guy than trying to blast it repetitively. I don't care about these weapons, though, because they got a demon whip, which is perfect for this character. Oh. Because it's got archery. What is the chance of my form triggering? Because it hasn't triggered for a little while, but then it, it triggered a whole bunch early on. Um, I'll grab the fear. Grab the fog. I don't know if I need the emulation yet, because I've got a ton of those. I might just wait on those. Um... Oh yeah, you're always uh, uh, fighting Twitch. You have a very bad like, issue a lot of times. Man, that's a, that's a bit of a shame. No, I've, uh, I don't know, I found it reasonably good, thankfully, but... 
I know back when I had like a really bad internet connection, it didn't quite always work, but that was always a uh, fault of my internet connection before. Oh, I might bring out the spiders. This guy's tough. <laughs> Look at that. And it's absolutely died to the spiders. The spiders don't scale very well, though, later on. Um, at least that's what I've found previously. Oh, couple of saucers. Uh, kind of back up, try and get them bed lined up. All right, that looks fine. Now I should be able to melee the remaining guys. Hey, there we go. Bit late with the execution of that. Oh, well. I think yours might have to do with uh, your ad blocker and Twitch fighting it out. Yeah, what is, like, Twitch's policy on ad blockers? Because, um... I know, like, a YouTube crackdown on them, right? And tried to slow down everything related to ad blockers. I'm not sure whether Twitch has done the same or not. I don't know. Right, let's back up. Uh, hopefully these guys... What am I looking for? I think I'm still looking for a cloak, right? Ooh, another one of these tough guys. Let's bring these back. Definitely bring these back to a corridor. I don't have my sag of spiders charged up anymore, but I still have a few wands. All right. Oh, you have no idea either. Yeah, I mean, it's... I don't know, they might have been... <laughs> they might have their own little war going on with ad blockers. Okay, this guy's got range weapons. I'm going to try and blind it up. There we go. That's going to make it a little bit harder for it to hit me with the range stuff. Um... I could just buy Buster. That doesn't... No, it doesn't seem that effective. I could Curare it, right? Don't think it... There we go. It's slowed and blind. Just zap it with some Maglev stuff, I guess. Oh, I shouldn't actually get myself too wounded. Oh. I should get back. I definitely should. I mean, it doesn't take me too long to regen because I do have the ammo to regen on, but I think that's my only source of regen. Oh, I should make sure I go for the tough one here. Okay. It's very easy to get yourself quite low in health by using the, um... What's that actually called? Unleash Destruction Ability. But it definitely seems like a pretty good sort of javelin equivalent type thing. You don't want to get into throwing, which I might not have to get into throwing. Although, how's the damage scaling up? Let's see. 3D50, is it not actually scaling up any further? I don't know, I guess the cost is the same as it used to be. Maybe I just haven't leveled up in a while or something. Also, I, my helmet's... Oh, I charged my helmet, but there's another one here. Um, I'm going to actually need the revelation to go like seven or something of those that sticking around. All right. I dropped the boomerangs. I can keep the javelins. So, oh, I still need to drop something else I can drop. I dropped the faith. If I need a faith, I can come back for it. All right, what have we got here? We've got orc bows. Nah, nothing. Random jug. Sorbent of jug, basically. I've oh, been, uh, oh, you read Mark of Atro Atrocity? With how much you, oh, you need that one. What's it do? How much, uh, yeah, I almost was tempted to go with another one because of how much I use my, um, Rage destruction. I hope for DCSS for the first time in forever. Do not doubt. You're going to do the Minotaur's mess around. 
Yeah, Minotaurs are definitely uh, one of the strong ones. But another thing you could try out if you wanted to, like if you're sick of Minotaurs or something, is uh, Mountain Dwarf. I found those really good. Um, I mean, Minotaurs are maybe still a little bit stronger, but the Mountain Dwarves are definitely quite fun because they can enchant up their artifacts. And they're also way better at the magic if you want to get into magic. But you don't have to. They're still really good at any sort of melee stuff. Where's Distortion? That guy. That's fine. Oh, I just want to back up. Just to get like a little bit of health back. Oh, that's a mark of atrocity. Uh, major Destruction costs more HP with each successive use. But deals more damage. And the more you pay for it, after three casts, the fourth cast will cost even more and fire extra beams at random or oh, random inside. Afterwards, the cost is reset. Oh, total that costs about a third of your max health. Oh, interesting. But I presume it's going to do a lot of damage before the... Like, going through the incomplete cycle. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Um, I might have to bounce back soon with my hop. Whew, actually, maybe right now. Uh, I have a lot of cast left in me. They're not lined up. Also, is this unexplored? Might just like Curarium wands this guy for a little while. I'll slide up again, but I might still just try to dab with a wand. What do I actually have? My burst, maybe? Ice Blast? Let's see. My burst does work. And this is a healthier one. Oh, it's just straight up dead. Excellent. Yeah, it's definitely um, me going through a decent amount of health though. There, just zapping people. Uh... Oh, what did you check for? Actually, as a shield, shouldn't I? Because I still got the tiny little buckler. Now, ah, more tiny little bucklers. If I wanted to add even more bucklers, chain mail of willpower. Hmm. So, if I put that on, I gain three armor class, lose two evasion. To get it's like slightly more protective, I also swap my resist about. Are you gonna play a vice talk of backlab with that? Uh, because you just regen back? Oh, because a vice talk, can I get? Oh, actually, that would make sense because you. You've also got like the magic points to effectively give you health. And yeah, I guess you do have the extra regen. I might draw that one polymorph. <laughs> Oh no. Huh. Yeah, because if it's based on max health, I mean, that actually does work out because the vine focus would effectively be paying less. Alright, am I done? I think I'm done here. Let's go to dodge level 13. Eventually? Huh? Oh, I had to press Y to go through that level, okay? I think I just pressed the edge or something, it cancelled it up. Uh... I wonder whether the execution of form still works if you've got another form going. Like whether I could um, get myself statue form or something and become a statue executioner. Oh, I did a bottle draining, of course I did. I think I got a bolt of dispel on dead or anything. Wait, did that bolt reflect off a wall or something? Maybe. Could be mildly dangerous if it triggered a time when you didn't want it to. Uh, shadow short. I don't understand why they're saying there's no hostiles in range, but when I activate it from this menu, it brings up the targeter. I don't understand that.
Anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, that was a cloak. I should grab that. Why are you just zapping this guy with the electricity over and over? I think I am. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I mean, I, there was only a one chance of four or something. Oh, you're taking the mark, the execution. What's the chance? One chance of eight. Uh, oh, when you kill something inside of other things. With a melee attack, I see. So it does rely quite a lot on random shots. I need more stuff identified. Um, I'll drop the flight. It's unlikely to be useful. Care okay, about a plus three holy flail, even if it is holy. Uh, drop the chain mail. I'm not sure how I feel about dropping that one, though. It's just. So I got my poison resist on, which I might not need. I oh, will need it because my next part is like the snake, but yeah, okay, it's probably worth keeping. Oh, it does not count as a form transformation, despite the player tile change. Right, so you can totally um, do form with it. Nice. Oh. Ha! <laughs> Cast into the abyss. I didn't even get a chance to react there. It was like, as soon as I stepped down once, I was just gone. Oh, well. Uh, level 2 of the Abyss, even. Um, I don't want to go deeper. That would be a bad idea. Oh, deeper again. Come on, game. That's going the wrong way. Those preserve, preserve these demons will be friendly to me. Because I summoned my own demons doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Ow. Huh. Oh no, more of these guys. Give me a servant. On oh, okay, I got a hostile one as well. Start a teleport, but it's going to take a while to go off. Huh. Watching my execution of form's gonna go away. And I guess the teleport doesn't matter so much anymore. <laughs> oh, it's also a ball rock. Um, I don't have any fire to this right now. Oh, uh, I don't like that at all. Um, what do I have? I mean, I got the spiders, but okay. It's not a net. What else can I do with it? I'll bring it to my own little demon. I got a smoke demon. Sure. Oh, it's just a weapon venom. That's what I've already got. Okay. Uh, oh, Bunyip Simulacrum. That's not ideal. Gotta hit it with the destruction at range. Oh, I didn't take it out. This could be bad. Can I just... hop back? Because... Oh, come on. Please take it out. It can take me out rather quickly with his ice attacks. What do I want? What would help me out? I get a little bit of armor. Um, do I switch to Legato? I don't want to switch to Legato. No, I don't think so. Oh, what is that invisible guy? I don't like that angel. Am I vulnerable to an angel right now? I hope not. Oh, maybe I am. Um, I'm about to get tormented. Oh, mm. I don't think I'll take the altar, but I'm gonna at least start a teleport. Okay, can I have the Sacred Scorch? I don't have any inventory space for it. I gotta drop a... Um... Oh, what do I drop? Seems silly, but I'm gonna read an ident... Uh, dad shards of my boots. And they grab the Sacred Scorch. I don't think there's anything stopping me using the Sacred Scorch in here either. Maglev doesn't care if I go full on Holy Wrath. And it looks fancy too. 
All right. Oh, way down again? Come on, game. Please give me a way out of here. Hey, is that a way out? I think it is. Excellent. Oh, um, I'll switch back my weapon, although I maybe should have waited till I got to a staircase before I did that, like up the staircase. Right. Well, depending whether I find a death form or not, I might be able to... Oh, I should get shield skill. I might be able to use that, um... Oh, wait. Uh... Guys, does fire damage. Okay. How long can I keep this going? <laughs> Long enough, because I think, is it when I attack someone that it uh, refreshes its duration or something? I hope it refreshes it, but it might have extended a little bit. Or maybe it just, uh, maybe it doesn't extend it, maybe it just times out a lot quicker if I'm not fighting. It's probably just something like that. Anyway, what do I want? Oh, uh, I want to identify some stuff, that's what I want. I might drop... I might drop the flaming, but it's not perfect dropping that one. Actually, maybe I should just drop the old shield. That's probably a good idea. Let's go check. So, 0.6 attack delay, that's fine. I need lost, like, 0.1 attack delay. And I got a considerable amount of shield value, which should help me survive getting up to enemies like these Santos without dying. Also, oh, Louise again. You gotta remember that, like, the going into the form is based on, like, killing things, so having tougher creatures makes it a bit harder. Can I just... I guess I'll zap both of them. Not good for my health, though. <laughs> Actually, I might just summon a little demon. That's better, a Balrog. Um, I got an enlightenment? Good. There we go, Borog did the trick. Okay, and there's uh, just another plus zero tower shield. Unfortunately, not an improvement of what I've got. Oh, I can identify these. Noise. Oh, well. It's freed up an inventory space. I can identify... Potion of Invisibility. Wait, did I just get another identify? And a Potion of Magic. Uh, I'm gonna step back a little bit, okay. Ooh. Wait, I should blast the melee, shouldn't I? Because otherwise it's gonna sit back there smiting me. I mean, it's already kind of doing enough damage. Also, maybe I should close the door, although I think melee can open it. But it still could protect me from the bees. Did I get any hostiles yet? Once. Yeah, I've once got a hostile. Uh, back when I had less chance of success. Does it even happen now that I've got a 0% chance of failure? I'm not sure. But yeah, but it also gave me like a, a friendly and a hostile one now instead of just a hostile one, which is kind of nice. Um. Oh, I don't think I can close the door, can I? Oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind, that guy just like won back, although the Whiff of Venom is pretty good against these guys. Because they're vulnerable to the whole Venom thing. Alright, one more level of dungeon and then I'm going to... Oh, probably just a snake, but... Although I have no fire to this... Ah. Is it always one in six chance? It doesn't matter on your invocations? Oh, okay. Right, so it is actually just like a failure chance now, the um, actual failure chance is not also the hostile chance. But you get a friendly, which is a uh, power boosted. Yup, yeah, okay. Huh, because I think I did get a decent kind of friendly. I think it was like a... What was it? A Balrog or something.
Uh, I still have Bucklord though. Good old dead you. Although I think there was a wasn't there a guy with a kite shield there? There's a kite shield on the ground, so I gotta presume so. Yeah, definitely. Uh oh, I might slide around the corner and heal up. But we can just uh have an archery battle, I guess. It's funny if that guy trying to roll up to me, but it's not going to quite get over the water. Because unlike me, it can't swim. Oh, but it can walk around, I suppose. Uh... Ooh, Agnes, doesn't she dodge really well? Wait, does it wait, can she not dodge the major destruction or do I just not know her chance of dodging till I find out what I'm zapping her with or something? Can I blind her? Ah oh, yeah, again that's like 40%. I might bring out a demon. Oh, this is a tiny little dude. Hey, look at that. An executioner. That's what I want to see. Oh she's bashed. oh she didn't quite bash it up. She was kinda of bashing it up though. And I think I got a little hostile dude in there as well with the executioner, which is probably why it got boosted up in power, but it didn't really matter. This gave me a little dude as a hostile. Uh, I'll pull these things back, but they are going to merge a bit. Oh, that's just one of the little guys. Hey, it's a whole bunch of demons, actually. Oh, the Quag's I'm gonna kill that one. Alright, because I don't want to be mal mutated to Benz or something, but I'm pretty good at taking things out that are behind other creatures, because I do have a lot of little bolts. Uh... Well, this level really has been like full uh, demonic themed because I, I even got sent to the abyss by Louise there as well. Oh, um, hmm. what's happened? Something's feeding on my mind. Hasn't mal mutated me though, thankfully. Oh, it almost feels worth well actually just pulling out the Holy Wrath and going batching some of these guys up. Alright. It's probably what I should have done a bit earlier. Oh, wait, that's the last level. I don't know if I want to go to the snake, but I do have a cold resist for my ring. I do have a poison resist, which could be swapped with another cold resist or a willpower. Um, I might actually try the shoals first. Although, it works better if you've got some more ranged attacks. Uh, so this costly ranged attack. Oh, uh, I guess this is working. Oh, said I've got like, probably a good chance to be mesmerized, right? By this guy. Yeah, 60% or something. If I was to use it. A CAD. Got a dimensional bullseye, sigil binding, canine familiar. I don't think I could shoot through my own canine familiar, which would be a bit of a problem. <sighs> Gotta just blow this guy up, I guess. Ooh, actually, it's not working as well as I like. Um, I might do the spiders. Uh, I think they have trouble drowning me because I can breathe water, right? Is that a thing? I'm pretty sure those drowned spirits do more damage if you can't breathe water. Actually, that might have been not, not been the right guy to summon the drowned spirits anyway. Oh, wait, no, it was. I'm sure it's saw some drowned spirits. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't know what my chance of actually hitting this guy is. I'll try anyway. Did it repel it? Yeah, it does. Okay. I just hit it with an ice blast. Um.
Um, what's the idea with a kraken? I still got an identifier to read. That doesn't help me with the kraken though. Okay. Why is summon a little demon? Where's the hostile one? Or did I just get a Borog? Usually when I get a Borog, it means there's a hostile one round, but I think it was just a Borog this time round, which made the Kraken pretty easy. I'm also going to potion off Might. Actually, it works well with a Demon Whip, because they attack reasonably fast. Uh, I just check out the shop. It's trying to sell me. I think some potions or something. So maybe it will be good. It's trying to sell me. Oh, here wounds. That's good. I get one of the lignifications. Get it identified. Um, I'll grab the might. Man, I can grab a whole bunch of stuff here. Wait, I don't want the berserk rage. I'm not really a huge ton of those ones. I think I did use one earlier to kill like a two-headed ogre. I didn't need it before. All right, it was way down. Might fling me off the staircase, but that was too much I could do about that. Oh, I can go up, right? No, I can't. Oh, a little executioner, dude. <laughs> Just kill these guys around me and then probably go up. In fact, I gain health back by killing things, do I, as an executioner? I think I do. I don't remember the exact rules, but I think it's something like that. Uh, I can just hop to... Somewhere close to the staircase. There we go. I don't think I can get multiple stuff. Oh, well. Ah, still my attempts to bring these guys up are kind of futile. Just kill them downstairs while I can, I suppose. Uh, I will back up, because I think this guy is about the same speed as me over land. Dude, what is this land speed? It's, um, land speed is 80%? What is the land speed of a Baraji? It's got to be around 80% as well, right? I don't know exactly what it is. Um, 1.2 move delay. I don't know what that translates to. Let's see. Uh, let's, what would it be? It would be 1 divided by 1.2. Oh, 83%. So I'm ever so slightly faster than one of those dudes over land, and then I'm slow in water. Alright, so I can identify... Oh, poison. Good for meeting future Krakens, because I got kind of lucky on that first Kraken there, I think, getting out a whole Borog to take it out. What else have we got? Butterfly is nice. Always a good escape option. Uh, oh. I can't go up that staircase either because it's unexplored, which means it probably leads somewhere dangerous, right? Actually, how is that unexplored? That guy's just throwing down. I might bring out a friend. Um, Let me just go examine the level above. Does it leave the side here? It's got to, right? I don't know. I, I'm a bit scared to go out there, sick. So I might leave it. Um, uh, I'll bring on another friend, I think. That'll be quite perfect. Oh, actually, looks like my, my friends have got this under control. Ooh, rings. Uh, probably something that's good here. Let's take a look. There's fire resist, resist negative, resist corrosion. It's got plus three strength, minus three. And that's not bad. There's also a storm talisman if I want to completely change my shape or dragon blood talisman. 
Protect? I'm not sure if I do. I don't think so. Is there Ring of Protection as well? What do I even have on? Let's take a look. I've got an Evasion and a Protection from Cold. Oh, Protection from Cold's not terrible in here. Um... I don't think I need that evasion. I can just uh oh, I can just go with the evasion. But I think that fire this one is uh actually was oh not that one. Actually was just grabbing. Instead of Oh, I've got it already. <laughs> I won't put it on right now, but when I go to the snake pits, I'll definitely have that one on. Get a bit of fire just so I get cooked by the salamanders. All right, level two of the strolls. It's always the third level that's nasty one, although this actually looks kind of nasty with that javel in the air as well. Uh, an orc blow, plus eight. I mean, that's a reasonable weapon. It's also got a couple of decks on it. I mean... I don't have an argument actually having nothing better by now. Yeah, I mean that probably would be worth using until you got yourself either like a hand cannon or a longbow or a triple crossbow, I guess. Uh mm, I'll just move up, I guess. But it's gonna get lots of chance to airstrike me as I'm struggling to get up to it. Uh, it should move up, but there we go. Try to let it do the work of moving up rather than me. Okay, it'll sweet. Might as well try it. You know, a very good trident. I think it's freezing though. I'll bring another couple of summons. Um, what is that guy in the back here? Because the one on the front is distortion. Charming, I see. Uh, right. Bring another servant. Oh, this is perfect. Is there anything that guy with the starship right there? I'm going to bring in some spiders. Oh, ow. I'm not really keeping these guys under control. Can I zap a light? Oh, whoops. There's some of these. Oh, I've got a teleport out, actually. I think I'm... I'm real low on the teleports, but if I stick around, I'm in trouble. I'm mesmerized, aren't I? Uh... I don't think I can just charm this dude, can I? Oh, maybe. Oh, it was charmed before I t uh, teleported out of there. Oh, don't follow me, dude. That's all right. Get out of here. Oh. Well, that was some light, but it's going to get out to be super quick. Right, Nilshwe might come along soon as well, but I'm not lucky. Uh, see all the ill. Oh, there's a javelin here. It's my last teleport. Do I use it? I think I do, but I'm hoping it lands me somewhere good, because otherwise I'm in a bit of trouble. Oh, there's Nilshwe. Uh, you got a teleport game? Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Where do I run? I run down this way and try to heal up. I'm just worried about running into Ilshmi. Do we have any teleports for sale? No. I basically got to go full on forms it now. Um, oh. i put to sleep. Okay. Uh... I got a cloak, right? I think I got that a little while back. So I didn't have one for quite some time. I think I can still take this guy out. Oh, wait, can it get to me? It can. I mean, not easily, but I could have. Yeah, I could have gone around. Oh, hey, I've got the poison scroll now. 
Better got three of them, so I'll just pop one of those. It's taking reasonable damage. There we go. Yeah, I definitely needed the poison scroll though, I think. Oh no, the the jelly push bump, uh jumped up to me. Well it's actually not too bad now the other guy's dead. Maybe. That kind of hurt. I kind of low in health right now. What do I have? I don't think Ice Blast got range. It's a mind burst, probably the only thing with range. Oh, hey, it did some damage. Wasn't perfectly good at affecting that guy, though. Ooh. I hope Elshui is not coming along. I get a bit of health back at killing these guys, but still, it's kind of rough. Uh, I don't think this character can actually kill or swear. I'm just. Wondering whether I should be sticking around this level or... Oh, what's this guy got? Charming, sure. Or whether I should be trying to go somewhere else is Elshui. I might get back to the staircase. I'm not that far from it. Right? Right, okay. Uh, oh, hey, little, little one of them fell. There's all sorts of guys up here. I might just pull them around the corner. And a net. Uh, if I can kill this guy before it gets a chance to... Oh. I've got the guy stepped aside. Um, I've got... I can't hop. I've used my hop. I can probably get rid of these two guys with an ice blast. And summon a demon, but I didn't actually get rid of those two guys. Oh, wait, that guy's hostile. Oh, no. Oh, no, I didn't run. I thought I was a friend. Um... I kind of wounded right now for that guy to be hostile. 20 fire damage. 50 damage in total. Guys, this is all 30 damage. Hmm. Try heal wounds. But I don't have my hop right now. What do I do? Uh... I'll try another summon servant. Oh, it's not the best servant ever. That was a bit of a shame. It's not in a good spot either. That was... Mm, that didn't really work. Can I charm one of these dudes? 30%? Oh, 80%. I don't like the 50% the chance there. Seems silly, but I think I'll put on a fire protection instead of cold protection. Yeah, Bobby a little bit of time. And a bit of health as well with those guys dying. Excellent. I think I'm going to go to the snake pits for a little while. See if that's any better. I mean, the entrance isn't too bad. The guys are spread out enough. So they should be able to kill them as they get up to me. Ooh, it's getting costly. How much does it cost? 11 hit points to the major destruction. Has this damage gone up though? It's, uh, no, it hasn't. Also, this damage doesn't seem to be scaling with us apart from the invocations. Few, yeah, definitely. Definitely few there, Sally. No, definitely, definitely not going to that, um, shawls for a little while. Oh, brand weapon? How good am I with Venom? Venom doesn't really do a lot against snakes. They're all resistant to it. I might actually rebrand, see what I can get. Ooh, vampiric, interesting. And that gets health back, which is important. Sounds like it'd be quite good if I got my, like, execution form to pop, but I can't really rely on that one popping. How much damage does it do with electricity? Hmm. It wasn't quite down to the point where I need to worry about being one hit. 
Oh, see, it's good with the ace. You show a form and an ace uh, quotation marks. I mean, yeah, I guess it's technically not a form, is it? <laughs> it looks like a form, though. Uh, let's go with this. So, I got a cancellation potion. Uh, hey, is there no one? How's it going? How's things been? What's the new back lab? So, the. The destruction works a bit differently. The major and minor ones be like condensed together to give um, one of the scales with implications. And you can still do a servant, except that's also been condensed together to just be a single one. And now you get a mark, so I got a mark of the executioner, so I sometimes turn into like a little executioner dude when I kill an enemy, but only sometimes. Um, but look, there was a choice of three of those, so I'm not entirely sure how it works. Alright, let's get some more fighting. I feel the armor up just a little bit, but I'm don't I still don't have heavy armor on. Maybe I should get a little bit of dodging as well. If I have lighter armor. No. Oh. <laughs> what am I doing? I was trying to light these guys up, but they're already like lined up and I got them unlined up. Ah. Uh... High shield protection might be worthwhile. Hold on, let's check on this. So, it gives... 3 AC but loses 5 evasion. Oh, evasion would increase by 0.4, why? Oh no, that seems right. That's uh, just from the heaviness of the shield. I was just thinking that was a bit much, but no, that's actually correct. What kinds of fancy shield do you have? I just got a basic um, towel shield right now, but it's still the trick. Ow. Oh, I think I healing potion up. Um, And then I think I berserk potion up to get a few more hit points. Ow. Yeah, those electric guys are a bit of a problem when you have um, no resist electric. Oh, I'll blast it again and then go up. There's like a chance of me fighting a better shield in here, but I reckon a plus tier, tier of town shield is about as good as what you can really expect to get on a lot of characters. Uh, the Guardian 7 hasn't noticed me, so if I just back up. Oh, now it's noticed me. And, okay, that's fine. Guiding stuff is far enough back, I should just be able to get up the staircase. And recharge my hop and go down somewhere else, I think. Uh, I don't think I'm killing anything before I have to go up there, that's a shame. Oh, I killed my good, I guess that does the trick. Oh, it double zapped uh, you twice because it's fast? Wait. Oh, took you. Oh, you took over a hundred from one and an action recently because it doubles after you. And all four of the tents. Ted. I feel like that must be actually kind of low on the damage roll if like I hit you four times, right? And only managed to do a hundred damage, which is a lot. I mean, at this point in the game, you probably only have slightly more than a hundred hit points. Um. Yeah, I don't know, those guys are really bearable with how tough they are, like, uh, I've had characters that don't really care about them, and I've had other characters where the, the first one I met just killed me. What's up with this dude's shield? Protection again. Right. Are they all kind of ridiculous with no resist electric? Yeah, what is resist electric? Is it one third damage or something? I know it makes a big difference. Oh, the magic points intelligence ring with minus stacks. I don't see that good. Now the protection of fire. Now the beast dies, but no, nah, not quite what I'm after. Oh, what is this book? Ignite poison, putrefaction, blast modes, and soul splinter. Got all the cubes are permafrost eruption. Permafrost eruption is such a fun spell. I don't think I need the book of Earth or anything. Um. Bombard, Hellfire Boulder, Cannonade, Bromber's Barreling Boulder. 
Vile Clutch, Crystal Spear, basically every single Earth spell you could ever want is all in one spot, but I'm not after Earth spells, unfortunately. Oh, whoops. I could have stepped forwards there and got those guys uh, so they couldn't surround me, but I didn't, so they could surround me. Uh, I really feel like my Bolt of Destruct is not quite keeping up anymore because it's cost channels up. Oh, it's got a uh, Manifold Assault. Now, unfortunately, a Demon Whip is not the right sort of weapon with that, but hey, I might get it eventually. But, like, it would have to be eventually. Ooh, ow. It's got shot. I guess I'm pretty sure that's what did the damage. I don't think it was any of the other guys. Do I use my magic points for anything? Because Maglev's abilities all cost health, right? And I don't have any spells. I, I don't actually think I do. So the mana vibe is draining my magic points. This isn't the worst thing ever. Uh, I'll just sped up a Naga Mage. That's fine. If it was a Naga Raja or something, it'd be a bit worse. But the Mages aren't too bad. I think they do have something nasty they can do. I just can't remember what it is. I know they do have a lot of health, which definitely helps take them out. Oh, there's a tyrant. Um, I'm going to check where I can see. So I might be able to bring it closer. Yeah, there we go. Without kind of giving it a chance to attack me, because I had to spend his turns just stepping back into view. Oh, they have Haze, Poison Arrow, Dimensional Anchor. I guess uh, Dimensional Anchor could be out of... Oh, I do have a Teleport. If I had more Teleports or something. Because uh, I don't have the willpower to resist it or something. But I don't know if that's ever caused me a problem. Feels like something that should become a problem, but just hasn't. Oh. Not a Guardian Serpent. Gotta try to summon in some servants to fill up some space around me. Oh. Well. They don't do so well in the space filling, but I guess that's fine. Might have to hop to the staircase. I like how my next user, but I don't like where I am. Let's do it. I don't like retaliate at that dude's death. That's kind of fun. Oh, it's time to go up, I think. I did a good job of killing those guys while I had the execution going. That was very helpful. Oh, Dimensional Anchor is kind of that thing that does nothing almost, and then randomly you die to it. Yeah, I've almost died to it in Zot before. Like, I've had a character that really wanted to blink, but they couldn't because, uh, I think, what is it? It's, uh, it's the shifters, right, that put it on you or something. I don't know something that put it on me. I think it was a shifter. Alright, final level, I guess. I think this is probably the area to get my rune from. Oh, I'm gonna bring... Let's bring this guy up, because these guys all have, like, constriction and stuff. Makes it really hard. Well, the nightmare is a shifter, blinks you, then anchors you, then encircles you. Yeah, exactly. I think it was a situation a bit like that, although I don't sure if it encircled me. Um, I think the creatures might have already been there. Oh, you can hop with Midas Teleport? I think so, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's actually kind of nice, at least. Well, I'm assuming you've got it nice and recharged, which... Do a decent amount of the time, at least. All right. I 
<laughs> no, I'm loving this, Brad. This uh, vampire draining just nice. I feel like after the combat, I'm actually gaining health. It depends how many things are around me. If the um, ooh, there are electric guys, maybe not. All right. I'll summon a little demon and they're just fine, I think. At the very least, I can always hop back to the staircase if I need to, but I didn't need to. No. Uh, ooh, another enchant, and also I can identify my last item, Brilliance. Where's the enchant weapon? I know I've got one. There it is. I won't do my Holy Wrath weapon. I will do my Vampiric one, because the Vampiric one's definitely more useful at the moment. Let's have this guy again. There we go. But I, there's some chance that I need to... Uh, that I'll end up with the Holy one later on, going through Hell or something, if I don't get a Death Bomb, which is very far from guaranteed. I think this guy's actually faster than me, right? Yeah, it's slowly gaining on me. It's gonna be weakened. I just wanna... I'm just, oh, wait, where's it gone? I'm gonna start combat without the weakened, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I love how all my staircase is all, like, literally outside this rune vault here. They're like a... I don't know. 20 spades the way it must. Um, what's on the ground? Is the scimitar sure? Should take on this guy's shield. It's a uh, positive energy one. So my bolts are draining us slightly less effective, but the other ones still work. And I think mine's amazing, like, ice anyway. Oh, uh, well, it's, uh, it's got, like, an extra chance of ice because I got Cositus as my thing, apparently. I feel like it could, like, maybe do a slightly better chance of describing what that does because I guess that's the problem with the, the abilities over here not having descriptions or the destruction is augmented by Cositus means. I guess looking at the ability kind of tells you. Right, those guys have minus teleport as well, the Naga Rajas. Probably matters like a little bit more of the Naga Rajas because they're actually tough. Oh, I want to check what that shield was. Um, It was probably plus zero, but it's worth double checking. There's, oh, Tower Shield of this. No, I don't think it was actually. On second thoughts. I wonder whether it changes with invocations. Quite possibly. Still doing the piercing guys, cold lightning, negative energy, right. This damage and accuracy are increased. I'm not sure it changes the bolts or not. I guess I'll have to find out. Anyway, coldness is great because I don't think I had any, right? At least not anymore. Um, yeah, good. There we go. I used to have it for a ring, but I sold that for one that gave fire resist. Seemed like a sensible enough thing to do at the time. Uh... Oh, these destruction, right. Uh, after the fourth... Wait, mutation? Oh, the false of piety mutation. Destructing gains piercing properties and gets a new... Wait, did it always have piercing properties? It's a new set according to uh, mutation. Also, all the things are based on the uh, mutation you get, although it looks like electricity is there on most of them, apart from maybe... Tartarus... No, wait, Tartarus has it as well, isn't it? No, oh, maybe not. Guy, it's faster than me, right? 
Can I just mind burst it? No, he's got good willpower. Uh, I guess I just blast it. I won't blast myself too much down, so I might just zap with some ice blast. There we go. Alright, so I got one rune, so I gotta decide either to go back to the strolls or to go to the vaults with not much willpower. I'll try the vaults for a while, see how that goes. Um Sure, let's see how it goes. And then I'll uh, after the vaults, I guess it goes somewhere else. Oh, there's a there's a what's the thing's called? Like a Bailey or something. I need to go. That's ages away. I think it's ages away. But I don't really have, like, a choice of which staircase I go down or something. Would this be my first way down? Oh, it looks like it doesn't, uh, like, scale the invocations when it gives you. Yeah, it just scales with the... Well, it's completely determined by the hell that you get, I guess. Oh, nothing to identify? Well, that's... Mildly awkward. What can I drop outside? Uh, I dropped the coal protection. I might drop the flame. Can I just leave the identifier outside? I might leave the brilliance outside. Alright, let's go and see what's for sale. Oh, a rope of the vines. I'm very a heavier armor character, but... I'm like half dead on that. I lose like 5 AC or something. Just not the worst thing ever. Oh, pair of gloves? I don't think mine are anything special. Definitely grab the blink. Maybe the fear. We'll see. Oh, plate armor. Um, and a cloak. Right. So many things. I don't think I'll grab the robe of vines. I think I'll try for the plate armor. Unfortunately, if I grab the plate armor, it doesn't work out. I can't afford the robe of vines. <laughs> I'd say plus four fade up played over a minus cast, but it gets cold resist. Sure. Do I try the other one? I think I try the cloak at least, but that might Yeah, at least me not being able to fall the other one. Oh well, I'll try the cloak. Uh it's better. It gives me more power, which is actually something I really need. Well what else will we say? There was something else in here. How about? Oh. Huh? Oh, Snookish Mines. Okay, there's gloves in here. Plus one, my gloves are not. Nah. Oh, wait, I pulled two gloves and stress. What was I doing buying those gloves? That was silly of me. Anyway, it's a fear scroll I might go grab, which I'm already at apparently. And I think that's everything I want from here. Well, that wasn't too bad. I should put on the armor, I think. I think it's more AC. Let's take a look. Eight more AC, but minus three evasion or something. Yeah, it seems all right. I even get a little bit of shield value because of the extra um, decks. What how good a spot this will be for like executioning up because there are decent sized groups of creatures. Guess I'll uh, find out pretty quick. Obviously, it's not going to work as a single creature because it requires something else to be in view. Oh, what just happened? Norris is... Oh. Doing it in staircase or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um... Uh, it doesn't matter about draining my magic points. I got curing as well, so it should be perfectly fine against him. He's got a flaming broad axe. I don't think I need that, but if I want after axes, that's a good one, I guess. The sort of axe you take into the swamp or something. Alright. Those two guys can freeze me and I have no resist electric right now. Freezing's not too bad, but the not resist electric is kind of bad. How big are these guys going to march? Um... It's down the staircase, right. Oh, uh, this is not perfect. I'm going to try and zap a row of these guys. Oh, how much damage is this guy? 88. I like how that's a down staircase, but I might just hop back. 
didn't hop that far. That's going to march because I didn't stay out of view for long enough. Uh, yeah, okay, that doesn't really work. Um... Ooh, it still hasn't split. This is actually a problem. I actually do a bit of fog, but I'm worried about this guy not splitting. There we go. It split a little bit. Uh, so many Thunderhawks. How's my fire resist? Is that enough fire resist to like emulate these guys? Seems a little bit questionable. Step back. Uh, I think I do though. All right. How do I set it off? I guess I just bash someone. Uh oh. oh that one's in a actually problem spot because it can zap me with electricity. Yeah, I'll have to try the fog again and hope for the best. Although this guy does a big explosion when it dies. Oh ow, what a just oh I gotta have the healing potion, I think. Oh no. Oh, it's one of the electricity range. I'm gonna try another healing potion, but oh no, 16 hit points. That was my last healing potion. What's it on? It's on almost dead. Oh, I get ice blast it, but if it hits me with another thing of electricity, I'm kind of dead. Right. Well, that did not go well. I don't think I've got a resist electric anywhere. Yeah. I wouldn't mind some, like, electric dragon armor or something. That would be amazing. Hmm. No, I'll just fight these guys for a while. I know there'll be two of them fighting me, but I think it's still fine. Try... Pull these guys back. All right. The other place I... Oh, I might try the shoals for a little while. I can't even remember what level I was on. Level three, apparently. And I know there was... Oh, oh sweet, there she is. Speaking of the devil, she's right here. Let's uh, bring the green demon. Is she poison resist? No, that might work. Am I poison resist? Oh, might not work. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Ilshree's dead. Which I think was the reason I initially left here anyway. And I've got a... I've got cold resist still. I've lost my poison resist. I think my resists aren't too bad though. Do I really think to identify? No. What do I have like waiting to be identified later on? Experience resistance. I wouldn't mind some of those resistance. I think it was an up staircase that was dangerous. Maybe not. That might have been down the level. Anyway, let's uh, go downstairs. Good thing about these sort of uh, square ones and staircases and corners. At least I know what the layout's going to be. And there's, oh, unfortunately, there's usually an electric, either an electric dragon or a thunder hulk in the center. And that can be quite tough. Um, <laughs> my fighting's 22. That's pretty good. Uh, Mason Flails is still 14. I could bring it up a little bit. I might bring it up to 16. Not that I really need it that high. Okay, armor, I can probably get a little bit more benefit from now. And I might bring the invocations up to 16. It's not really a huge improvement. It's already... What's the way there? Uh... Raper distortion, I should... Oh, it's up to me. I was going to say I should take it out before it gets to me, but that never happened. Uh, 
Uh, oh, let's blast this guy at a distance, although. Didn't end up doing a lot. Yeah, should be careful with the auto explore, I think. All right, let's. Yeah, because it's not going to be exactly careful with where it visits. Uh... Oh, I can't take that out with a wand of flame either. It's not got enough room. Oh, I didn't even have it on me. It doesn't even have enough room to spread. Right, so I really kind of want to step around this corner, but I can't. Um, I might bring out a little demon. Boring's good. Yeah, it should be able to do some serious damage. There we go. No, I won't take a silver javelin. I will go around the entire route side, though, before I get into that central area, I think. Yeah, that way I can kind of stay near my stairs as long as possible. It isn't that. I think I actually emulate these guys. It does make a decent chunk of noise, but hey, it gets rid of them. So I don't have to worry about the net or anything. Uh... Oh no, I went to sleep. I should get rid of those little guys that can put me to sleep, I think. Yeah, it doesn't change my resistance or anything being in this form. It just means I, like, retaliate with the, uh, whatever they are, the little executioner attacks. I think I get, uh, does it give me some bonus damage or something? I'm not sure. I'd have to read this description again. Where's this description? It's in here. Okay, so I get the ability to rampage. What else does it do? Uh, these blades will attack whenever you do and also retaliate whenever you successfully dodge which I'm not exactly great at dodging am I but it's still something I should go down this way uh, but yeah them attacking when I do is kind of nice Uh, can I can't hit these three. Ooh. Oh, don't mesmerize me. That's all good because I, I can always walk back, but I'm missing. Ow. Ooh. Um I think I just hit this guy again, but I'm a bit worried. Can I hop back while mesmerized? I don't think so, can I? Nah, didn't think so. Okay, so I gotta finish off this guy and then maybe hop back. Hello. Yeah, it puts me next to that guy, which isn't too bad. That was kind of the guy I was trying to take out. What am I in the requirement? I don't wonder what it's gonna give. Give me some armor, please. Let's see. Oh, gloves of cold resist resist cold minus four strength. My gloves are like plus strength. Um, I do have the resist corrosion already on one of my rings, so that's not the most useful. Cold resist is whatever, I think. Do I need range? Not really. And there's also a demon with a flaming, which I don't really need. That's kind of a shame. I could just take the money, but I also don't think there's anything really waiting for me to go buy either. Alright, this shouldn't really... Oh, actually, no, there's one more. There's one more of these little side rooms before I go into the center, isn't there? Um... Ooh. 
I think I just back up. Uh, in fact, I think I hope to speed up my retreat here. Given how fast some of these guys can be. Uh... Oh, wait, don't explore. It's not the right thing to do. They'll take me to the center, wouldn't it? I should just manually explore, though. I should finish the little area up here as well. Oh, somebody the hand cannon has a mule, doesn't it? The one that does the, uh, like, the blast back and stuff. That was kind of a fun little hand cannon. But I'm not the right sort of character to be using a hand cannon, I don't think. I don't, oh, actually, I actually kind of do have the decks for it, but I got heavy armor on. I think my decks are actually partly coming from the plate armor as well. I know there's another javelin here around because I only killed one of them. There it is. Uh, yeah, good. I have to hop back or something. Can she kite around that corner because it was. Not preventing it with a mesmerizer or anything. It was mesmerizing me, but it wasn't further away that I was trying to get. Alright, what's the thing guarding the rune? This should, there's got to be some sort of electric guy in there. Also, I can't be taking the... Javelins like that. Um... Oh, oh now the javelin here. Um, what's the plan? I'm a little wounded right now. I could bring it in with the. Uh, I think I bring it in with the fog. Yeah, because I'm more effective in melee because I can do the whole like vampiric draining and stuff. Okay, it's a it's, um titan. I'd rather get that into somewhere with less. Well, there are more walls, but. Uh, there aren't exactly a lot of choices for places with walls right now. Um, excellent, it's dead. Um, doesn't give me electric dragon armor though, but it does give me a rune and a phantom mirror and some fox fire and starburst. Sure. What sort of stuff is that? The stuff of fire. Perfect to go with the book if you're a fire mage. Where do I want to go? I guess I guess it's back to the vaults now. I don't really have a lot of choices. Oh, that dude got the Ips obsidian axe. How silly would it be to go with an obsidian axe when I've only got uh one uh one equipment left? Um I don't think I've even got the axe of skill to use this thing. It needs like 16 axe of skill or something. Oh, 18 axe of skill to use it, right. 45 damage. What am I on right now? 32, but a better attack delay. A 0 0.5 attack delay versus a 0 0.7. I don't think it's worth using, but... It is a fun weapon. Sometimes. I reckon it would get me killed, though. <laughs> I have fire resist. I don't need to worry too much about the lindworms. Yeah, in fact, I might just drop the obsidian axe because it's got the whole, like, self mesmerized thing on it. Oh, that's, uh, that's such a perfect flavor. It is perfect flavor for the scare to go full on demonic, something in demons. I mean, it does actually fit the flavor. Uh, I almost like uh, did actors earlier. Like, I think I had a little hand axe for a while, but I never found the upgraded. Do I charm this guy or do I just. Oh, man, I don't have anything to interrupt it apart from the charming. Oh, I might just hide around this corner. I just fight everything.
Yeah, because it's uh, not a bad spot for fighting everything. And it means the, less of the, the rest of the level I've less creatures now, anyway. Uh, gonna push me out of my trope point, we'll see. Oh, I'm currently staying in it. How many haste am I up to? I'm up to two haste. I think I've found a total of three haste this game, which so far is a lot. Uh... I've got two cold, so that dude just standing back there trying to freeze me repeltively. It's kind of not really even keeping up with the rate that I'm getting health back from the vampiric. I was his friends. Oh, the cola. I do have a... Uh, I should use the vial because I don't have any resist electric. I think I've got a side scroll as well. I do. But I don't need it, he's dead. How is a ball to be to God there? This I gotta get up close to this guy, otherwise he's gonna zap me with electricity. I think that's my main weakness in here is all the electricity. Oh hey Boris. Try to pull him around this corner. Huh? Oh, I get on a friend as well. Oh, cold guy, that's not going to do much, is it? I mean, I guess it does something, but I think he's quite uh, resistant to the cold being a lich. What was his robe? It was uh, intelligence and harm, sure. I wonder the enemies benefit from harm. I'm not actually sure, because I know they don't uh, get affected by quite a few of the properties on armor. Oh, but the high elemental damage doesn't do much. I might just bring in a friend. Oh. Sure. I mean, it's mainly elemental friends, but they still do do melee damage. Um, I gotta get armor. Got a good aptitude. I might bring it all the way to 18. Plus two aptitude, I think. Because Barachi... I mean, they don't really have bad aptitudes. Their worst one is like the invocations at minus one. And it's still not even that bad. Yeah, it's kind of what I like about them. It's just like, Gatchute's good. Hop is also pretty useful, although they do get slowed with their movement. So you have to be a little bit careful. But I feel like the Hop makes up for that. So you're just kind of like playing a species with a really good aptitudes. <laughs> another hand cannon. I found plenty of those. That a trope crossbow. Did I find another early good range weapon or something? I don't know. I feel like this game's been all about the range weapons. Uh, but I actually don't didn't do too badly because I got an early demon whip, so I can't complain there. I oh, remember seeing enemies with harm use torment for more damage. They probably can use it. It probably is a thing they can use. I know they don't get affected by like minus cast. Um, yeah, but I'm not sure about the harm. So I do want to go to this wiz lab, and I've got lots of revelations. I just turn this into money. I don't know. Maybe. If I need the inventory space, I'll turn that equipment into money. Uh, it's down there, I do believe. All right. I guess I just walk in. I don't think I mess around with trying to get better staircases or something. I don't think any of the other staircases are like massively close. Plus, this guy tries to mark me. It made a noise as well 30%. Oh. And what about this guy? This guy had something nasty. Bashment on. Oh, like 30%, but I'm still going to light it. And also, hopefully, stops the other guy marking me as well. So I think it's worthwhile to be enlightened enough in that fight. I've got some, might as well use them. 
or probably agony it was from a death night. Ah, yeah, no, that makes sense. Though it kind of makes sense that they would benefit from harm, but you never know. I might drop the identifies. Might drop the magic as well. I don't think I've got a use for that right now. Oh, hey, it's the Flesh Lab. This one can have some decent loot, if I'm correct. Um, like, it has lots of potions of mutation and stuff. Oh, and apparently Flesh Golems, sure. How tough is a Flesh Golem? They're not a normal thing. You see all the like, corrupting pulse? And they even got like the little, uh, like the little star sign on it because this is like one creature that mainly has it. <sighs> Frail too. Yeah, it'll go away. I oh, you think a stick of Tuma's armor is guaranteed? Right. I don't know if this guaranteed needs to get to his armor, but still, it's nice and somewhat guaranteed. I'm not poison resist right now. Let's just drink a little bit of curing, although there's probably nothing else coming along. And isn't there a uh, decent chance that they have the alchemist, or was I just really lucky on the one game where I got that in here? I don't think it's guaranteed though, like maybe the sick of two of his armor is, but I think it's got a good chance. Oh, I should have done some fog. I have fog as well, so like I could have. Kind of hoping it's going to change or something that doesn't ever radiate, but hey. Uh, take these little side doors, they, whoa, they loot to somewhere where I need to emulate because there's so many dudes in here. Alright, there we go. Oh, there's, I should get rid of the, uh, fragile. I should definitely blast this guy at a distance, so, huh? It's not taking out very effectively with my rage attacks because it just keeps on getting its health back on a shape shifting. Ah, I should go for the guy that mob mutates. Shouldn't worry about the other guy too much. How'd I go for Zerg? Oh, I got a. Wait, when did I get that mutation and made I lose my temper? How did I get that? Also, how long have these mutations had, like, little icons? Oh, well, I guess, uh, did I get mal mutated? Hell, how? Oh, there was a guy that mal mutated, or probably did just get mal mutated. Oh, like, two mutations. At least I'm gonna top up at the end of here, so I calm down, like, feel robust. That's good. I'm sure I'm down to five into whatever, but I'm sure that's enough. Oh, with the stack of mu po mutation potions coming, does it matter? Probably not. Yeah. Just as long as I got enough mutation potions to get me to the stack, right? Oh yeah, this thing of tubers. I'll check it out. AC would decrease by eleven. Vage would decrease a little bit, and um, no, shield would decrease a little bit, and uh, Vage would go up by three. Right, but I guess all the corpses is stuck to. I don't think it's worthwhile. Don't get the whole, like, immunity to miasma, though. <laughs> there a stick of this monster in here? They should be, right? Guess I'll find out once I tab through all these guys. Huh? Is there not one? Maybe it's on the other side. Alright, good. Up to 30 mutations. I came in here with, like, two, so... That's definitely a nice little upgrade. Uh, these always look like doors to me, like some of those ones. One's the teeth, but those ones aren't doors. 
I'm going to get a bit confused when I'm not able to open the muffles. I mean, they're actually transparent wolves, I think, is what they count as. Um, if I'm correct. Because you can't... I can't, like, even manifold assault through them and stuff. So they don't count as fences or anything. Oh, hey, there we go. Death Talisman. I don't know why I'm picking up both of them, but hey. And then stick it to his monster. Excellent. Uh, I think this is fine, although Skid Stretch is doing a bit of damage. I was always thinking, like, hopping back and zapping it with something, but I guess that's fine. All right, I believe I'm done here. How do I get out of this place without getting myself malmutated? I should take the items on the ground, so we've got to stop death, right? Let's get out of here. And I can drop, I think I'll drop the Sigur of his armor, and I'll drop one of the death talismans. That means that I, oh, what, there's another death talisman? <laughs> sure, game, just throw three death talismans up. I mean, why don't you get a three? Because it said there was a duplicate there. Craziness. Oh, this was that his console reasons? Oh, because you can actually see where all the, all the walls are properly. Oh, you think quaff? Wait, did I, I, uh, queued up the mutation already? Do you think I just, just quaff some random ones? <laughs> no, I did that kind of immediately. Uh... I think I should. I, I kind of like the robust ones I've got. Oh, it does mean it's more expensive zapping people with the destruction. What am I trying to do right now? Uh, I don't know. Also, is my, my caps lock was on. That was confusing. Anyway, let's put on. Let's bring out a couple of dudes. Oh, I got to... Also, Kako? Damn it, I might need to cross the mutation. <laughs> I don't think it actually got me with that, I don't think. I don't know, I, I can't really like this for a boss, so I might just keep it, but yeah, otherwise it might be worth trying to get a random mutation. Oh, this is basic junk, unfortunately. Ooh. Amulet of Regen resist electric, but minus five strength. Let's take my damage. 33. Let's put this on. 30. Yeah, let's go with that. It gives me... I mean, it's a little bit of shame about the minus strength, but it gives me my resist electric, which is kind of important in here. As it turns out, with, like, the Thunder Hulks, I almost died to some of those earlier. That's uh, plus zero tail shield, sure. Man, this uh, vampire draining is amazing in here. <laughs> okay, come on, kill the guy. There we go. What does guy shoot me with and show me with the metal splinters? I never realized that it had like a little animation, but I definitely saw something flick up on my screen there. I can back up. I think it's worth it. Because now we get to find a proper choke point. Uh, more strength, of course. Because I'm kind of lacking that after I uh, took a bit of a strength penalty with my new Ablet. Well, these destroyed How much is it costing? 15. Yeah, I can see why, uh, what was it, Drake Omega was like, thank you of reducing the cost of that one later on. Even though it does seem to scale maybe a little bit too much, but it was a time when it was like really, really useful. And now it's kind of dropped off quite a bit. Um, yeah, and Lara it felt maybe a little too good, although not too bad, because they did have to spec into it at least. Ooh, I'm bringing a friend. Okay. There we go, separate those guys out a bit. I think I might go down a different staircase. Those Crystal Guardians are definitely not to be underestimated with their whole ability to... Um... 
shoot you with a crystal spear that makes you vulnerable to future damage. I don't think it's technically called a crystal spear, but it does enough damage, it might as well be one. Oh, this guy got a trop of dart. No, Datura darts. Those are Berserk ones, right? Do you want others? Are those Berserk? Uh, what does it say? Mindless Frenzy. Yeah, okay, those are the Berserk ones. Oh, lots of dudes. Uh, am I bringing a friend? Is the Kanku Demon fine? Or am I bringing another friend? I'm gonna help a little bit, but I'm not sure it's the most helpful. I might actually try and get some more invocations. I'll bring it up to like 20. I don't know if I can bring it any further than that. Like, does it help with the quality of the demons or just their chance? It might help with the quality, right? Does it say at low invocation scale, only lesser demons may be summoned, but mage demons and even executions may also call those high invocations? Right, so I do need some more invocation skill to make that uh, give me. Big demons. Because I feel like something like an execution would kind of be the optimal role to get on that one. Because they do enough damage that they usually damage things before they die. Character feels very tanky. Like, uh, yeah. The whole getting magic back. Oh, it's plus on plate armor. The hangman. It gives a little bit of dex, but it gives you more dex. Minus two strength again. I don't need the magic points, so mine's give like three more armor class, so I think I'll stick with my one. Oh wait, I should not leash destruction on that guy. It's basically immune to all the things apart from the partially irresistible ice or whatever it is. I think it stops around twenty unless you get the mark that buffs the summon quality right. Which I think that oh Wait, the one I was offered didn't buff the quality, it buffed the numbers, I think. Interesting. It looks like there's quite a lot of various marks that you could go through. Oh. Man, that guy's summons are pretty good. I might do a bit of fog. There we go. Everything should be good now. now I've got rid of that guy to summoning. Uh... Three scrolls of teleport. Hey, is I getting some of those? Because I was completely out of those for a while, though. I think it got back to one pretty quick, at least. That means that it can take like three scrolls just to get a good spot if you get unlucky with your teleports. Governs this electric now, so I won't worry too much about the Thunder Hulk. Um, what are my boots? I can't even remember. So these boots are plus two. My boots are plus one. Alright. That's a simple choice there. Do you want one more armor class or not? Basically, wait, what was that other thing that I just saw? What was this? Oh, flaming. For some reason, I thought it was like rampaging. It's like, what? How do you put rampaging on a weapon? I don't think that makes sense. I was wondering like, to keep scaling against friends and stuff. Right. No, I definitely got to try some more mag lab after this or something. Just uh, experiment with different mags. I mean, my camera mod's interesting because it's turning into an executioner, but it doesn't come up that often. But what it does, it's really nice. Huh. Um, is it Elven Hall's time? No, I think it's Depth's time because my mobile pal's kind of sad. <laughs> So hopefully I can get myself, like, tough enough that banishment doesn't matter in the depths. I'm probably gonna get mic'd at some stage as well. Uh, although the enemies are kind of on the opposite sides of the mic trap, so maybe not. Oh, okay. Ragged with pain because I don't have any willpower, but that's fine. Guess. It's only 12 then. Right. Pull the dude up and get rid of it.
Uh, although there's a chance I'll find gold dragon and armor in here, which would be nice. Um, there's also a chart armor, which could be nice. Especially with a like, gold dragon armor or something. Because I don't think I get a poison resist yet, and it'd be really nice to get some of that before I go into Zot. Oh, it's kind of funny how, like, the... I think I heard in, like, the Discord that the Executioner had already had the, um... Like, the displacement for its weapons and stuff set up. Because players had, like, kept on playing with, like, Executioners as their sprite. So it had already been set up, which is kind of funny. Because I know some creatures, if you set them as your sprite, their weapons don't light up in any sensible way. Uh, I'm actually happy with this powered brand. I don't think I need that branding. Although, maybe an extended I could rebrand um, if I go Death Talisman, which we'll see if I do. I might just go Holy Wrath. Just call it a day. I don't think the Holy Wrath helps me out against the neck. Rats are technically living, I think. Oh, hey, Boris. He's got a robe on the ziggurat. I mean, I wouldn't take the order to put ziggurat. It's only plus willpower. Oh, he says, well, me again. We'll see if he lives up to his promise. He probably will. Because this is already depths one. He's got plenty of chances. But those Holy Wrath and Death Form not dull. It does dull. So if I go with Death Form, I'm not going to go with the Holy Wrath. But if I don't go with Death Form, I will. I've got an option to death form, and I'll try, probably try to get it going before hell, but... Sometimes it's just not worth the XP, right? It's better just to go with Holy Wrath or something. Uh... Ooh, hey St. Marika. I think this is reasonably late for St. Roku. Is there something I can do to help me here? Do I need help? Or is that kind of the, all the priests that I'm worried about? Although I think the um, bad bird draining is doing the trick. Well, maybe not. I might bring out a little servant here. There we go. The execution team, especially with them hazing themselves, is kind of crazy. Um, I'm gonna leave this fall, though. That ring is tempting. I don't have chatter or something to open up. In fact, a lot of characters don't have ways of popping over those vaults as what? Oh, uh, I know shatter definitely can. Sif Martin's Divining and Jesus can get you there with the shatter as well sometimes. A oh, plus two tower shield. Hold up. Mine's cold resist. Um... I might stick with my cold resist, but like either could actually be completely fine. That's a lot of creatures, but that's not actually a bad thing because I think uh, these creatures are weak enough so I can just slaughter them. It's basically free XP. Yeah, this vampire like some holy wrath. Not very much by the looks of things. Alright. I was like getting buffed up. Is there oh there's an orange brain? That makes sense. Uh this is not quite working. Uh I might bring a little demon and see what I get. Oh I took a chunk of damage. Um I might hop back, but unfortunately that's the problem with my rage attack taking health, so it doesn't work quite that well after I've just hopped back. If I try the spiders, I didn't slow the guy down with the spiders. I don't have any roots, do I? No. Um, I might try blind it. Yeah, it's not quite working. I might just mirror it up. I 
I should have been on like Vampire Drain that guy, but I guess I just wasn't quite keeping up with the damage it was doing. Uh, I don't have any charges around here or something, do we? I might just um, emulate some of these guys. Oh, they just the charges, but there was enough like uh, spriggans as well. I was thinking that. So many of these mirrored fire giants, I don't think any of them are really, well, one of them will be real, but I think the rest of them are just mirrored dudes. Uh, this guy got just dire flails, at least I was just checking that I didn't have the dark mall or something, because it's hate to be fragile with some dude having the dark mall around. Um... Right, so many enchant armors, this is good, but I just need a gold dragon. Well, probably multiple. That'd be nice, a whole room full of gold dragons. Uh. I mean, my current armor is actually not bad for the armor class, it gives a bit of dang, so it's helping with the evasion as well. But it's just, uh, to poison resist would be nice. Might just willpower up, because I don't really want to get banished here. <laughs> I mean, there's enough wizards. Probably half of those are fake wizards, but there's definitely enough of them. And one of them would be able to get me banished. Uh, I might actually just blast that brain. Because those could definitely be a problem if they decide to summon anything too tough. Wait, what's up with this guy? Curari? I think that's fine. But I think I might be immune to the Curari slowing because of my poison resist, just like the enemies are. But I'm not 100% sure if I am or not. Alright, what's next? No, one more level of depth, and then I guess I risk management of the Elven Halls. Uh, how's my willpower? Still sitting on two posts because I got the cloak of willpower. That's it. <laughs> I can actually check for items, but. Random chainmail. Mm. Yeah, I reckon it's worth just risking the banishment. At least I've got one lot of regen if I get banished or something. Uh, what's worth getting? Get a little bit more maces and flails just to increase my damage, but I don't think it's going to do that much. I get a little bit more fighting. I get the armor up to 20. I think dodging will be worth it. I... Oh, I got poison. Uh... I'll hold up with the shields as well. Where can I go here? Oh, ow. This is fine. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there's a ledge across the earth. Okay. I actually think I might teleport, but I'm a little bit worried about this. Good, so that did get me somewhere good. But I'm really good with that staircase as well. Alright, what do we got? Great Mace of Vampire Draining. I think that's two handed. I'm relying quite heavily on my shield here to keep me going. Oh, another triple crossbow. I guess the other thing with all those trolls, they're all around me, so they were kind of uh, probably hitting my max blocks on my shield pretty easily. Alright, this god has a gold dragon's right. Come on, game. They often are around the vault's entrance, but not guaranteed. What's that mean with poison? Anything but the poison, right? Yeah, anything but the poison is what I want.
Where it's inevitable will give you some amount of poison. Oh, hey, gold dragon. Uh, not a gold dragon, an uh, electric dragon. I think it's worth just being nice to like a bunch of these guys when I'm in this farm because my health is staying up. So, yeah, I might as well just be doing as much as possible. Wait, it blew itself up with all the destruction? That's hilarious. I don't think I've seen many enemies blow themselves up. Oh. I think I get up the staircase. There we go. Now I'm no longer sitting in the poison, although I should be resistant to the electricity, but it can still do some damage. Especially with this guy being hasted. Alright. This is why I moved somewhere where it could double zap me, because I feel like double zapping might be a bit much there. How's that poison going? It's definitely building up. But it wasn't taking my actual health down too uh too fast at least. Uh There's definitely been a distinct lack of gold dragons. I'm disappointed in that, but everything else has been good. Like, the number of chant um, has been good. Oh, these guys do. The green ones always do poison. Inconvenient. And I'm back nice and good again out of the poison. Hey, look at that, a gold dragon. Uh, it's got some friends, unfortunately. I might bring out a couple of my own friends. Ooh, Tower Shield Protection. Um, I've got the, what, plus zero Tower Shield of Coverages, but I might actually go with the Protection one for a while. Come on, please drop armor. Please drop armor. Hey, it dropped armor. Okay, that's, that's great. Let's look at this armor. So, not that. It gives... Oh, my AC would decrease by 0.3. So, I basically lose a total of around four defenses. That's fine. I can shut it up. And I gave the poison for this, so it's worthwhile. Um, where are the enchant armors? And it will scale better with the whole um, armor skill and everything. Well, don't want to pick up back up that one. Well, there's something else here. There's the tower shield I was going to look at. But I might just put that one on. Uh... Right, okay. The armor is trading, but I might keep that trading for a little while. See how much I can get. I don't want to go. I mean, I guess I, I'm probably pretty fine if I get banished. Let's go to the Elven Halls. I have a level 22 character. Does it look like elves? Well, some of those do. They look like a bunch of orcs to me. Are the orcish delegates there from the orcish mines? I don't know, what are they? They're probably trying to sell their wares or something, because that's what the orcs are all about, right? With their shops. I like how much I'm getting to be an executioner. Also, this character is a perfect character to do, to do the Hall of Blades if I want to, because then I can. I guess I just enchant up my demon whip here. Is this a tiny tome? See, they're gonna have one spell: Vampiric Draining, Cannonade, and Hellfire Mortar. It's actually good if you if they does have a spell you're after, um, because they tend to be really cheap. But of course, the downside is that you have to look through each one individually to find out what spell it's offering you. Oh yeah, the execution form triggered up. I mean, the elves seem to be coming in big enough groups that I'm managing to trigger the execution quite a lot, which is fun. 
I'm not gonna lie, it miss uh minor destruction being freely spammable. I mean the the yeah, the unleashed destruction uh, doesn't cause the piety, so it's almost freely spammable. But yeah, the the fact that it like scales up with its health cost is making it quite expensive at this point. I feel like that needs to not scale quite as fast. Given that this damage doesn't like scale up with the cost or anything. Oh, manual vindication is not bad. Well, is there ring of ice, push of invisibility? More identified than I don't need. Uh, the manual of ice magic, which I probably don't need. Let's just grab the invocations. Because I'll probably certainly go for an invocations title with this character as well. So that's nice, I guess. This has got to be the Hall of Blades. Yep. I need a magical power ring. That's not quite right. Uh... I just wanted to stay back near the entrance because I got a nice little choke point here. <laughs> also, that guy lightning bolting should have made a decent amount of dam uh, sound, not damage. I don't think it really hurt me at all. Uh, yep, this is where it's time to retreat, and I think being in the corridor should be fine. Although I can't drain health from weapons, I don't believe. Oh, I wanted the weapon to stand up, uh, step up, but yeah, like that. That's better. Um. It's a glaive? That was, wait, that was just a glaive? It might not be a high tier weapon. I think there's definitely room for some more high tier weapons in here. That guy's just got plus zero. Rapier's not anything special. Alright. I might be able to max out my demon weapon here. There's some, although sometimes there's a brand weapon instead, which I think it's got a decent chance. I'm not sure if there, there might also be slight randomness with the number of scrolls. I'm not sure. There's usually like at least two um, charm weapons in here. I think sometimes there's three though. Oh yeah, three this time around. Um. Oh wait, that's not gonna do much. I might just bring in a demon. There we go. The Balrogs actually don't seem too bad either. Gonna take me to those scrolls. There we go. I guess I wanted to explore everything else first. Um, and at least be one extra, which I'll put on my holy wrath. Sure, why not? I don't think there's gonna be anything else that I'm gonna want to enchant up. Oh, hey, Roxanne. Um, I might find her. I'm not going to go with, like, a statue form or anything. It's just... Gets her out of the way. Don't have to worry about it now. Not that I have to worry about it too much, because it's not like she follows around or anything like the other uniques do. But she has kind of a statue. Oh, Borogs are a bit fast too, right, which I guess helps them out. Right, so they're kind of uh, a bit like the executioners, I guess, in that respect. Guys, they're just gonna bring each other back to life. Just like they're about to bring that other guy back to life. Maybe? <laughs> Wherever that other guy is. Uh... This health on kills is quite useful because I managed to stay. I get to go to the fabric draining and health on kills. So I got everything to kind of heal me up in situations like that. See what demons these guys summon. Uh, although the demons, I guess the topic can still go through, but the demons have been behind them is a little bit helpful, at least. Uh, 
It's quite a lot of things. I think I do run up though. Uh, I might get out of the buddy. Yeah, so the ball wrong, I guess the hundred twenty percent speed, isn't it? Immune to fire, vulnerable to cold. The vulnerable to cold could be probably like four frost cannons around. I don't seem to bother it too much. All right, let's go around this corner. Uh, you know what I might do? I might actually just like screw this place up and do the rest of the level because. I do want to be able to treat back. Ooh, chat armor. Yes, please. And a uh, teleport's excellent. I feel like this character's going to struggle with teleport like later on as well. Um, also, I get really lucky and find an entire stash of it somewhere. All right, there we go. Now I can go fight the elves. I don't need the ring of ice. I think I've already got one ice for this, but that's probably fine. Oh, spirit guardian poison resist tablet. I've actually got the poison resist now, so I don't need that one. Hey, how do we get to these guys? At least they can figure out their way to me. Uh, right, it's just the ablet again. Sure. That punk that I see, I'm pretty sure that's punk. It definitely could have been a ranged game with all the weapons I'm finding. Let's go take a look. I'm pretty sure that's punk, though. Yeah, it is in fact punk. But what is like an acid great sling? A great sling is kind of like a hand cannon, except I guess it's faster attack to like lower damage, but it's the same sort of quality. Uh, I've done depths right. So, I'm gonna go to Vaults 5. Got plenty of regen. It shouldn't be too bad. Oh, also, maybe should check out the floor, but I don't think there was anything too special. Lots of stops. I have this stuff already seen. Did I. I did return and get my second rune. Yeah, I did go to back to the shoals and everything. Did that... Was it before the bolts? No, uh, maybe. I don't know. Might have been after the bolts. Anyway, let's go to... Oh, right. I'm already here. Uh, I guess I'll just go down and see what there is. See if I need a potion or not. This looks fine. Oh, hey, gold dragon. I care about a plus two hat, right? I've got the plus two helmet. Yeah. Oh. Right. I kill this guy and step back into its spot. Not perfect with these guys being able to zap me. Actually, I might try and zap. I don't know if that did that much. Uh... Might need to teleport, but I might just uh, do a little bit of a hop first, reposition myself. Which can't go demon is that? Because it's yours and mine. Oh, it's probably the Dread Lich is here. That would make a bit of sense. Uh... Oh, the dude stepped into that spot. I was hoping I could take that spot. I might get a bit more shields, but I shouldn't get too much. Um, I'll bring the fighting up to like 26. Oh, the invocation, right, the invocation has a manual on it, um, I don't know if 26 is too much. I'll basically just keep it going till I get the, um, tell me about the manual, I think. Oh, well, that's not what I'm trying to use, so clearly. Okay, that's a little bit better. Uh, less things of view, but it's still... Oh yeah, I think this is fine. My health is staying nice and good. Yeah, this is mainly the terrain that's helping me out rather than the creatures this time around. Because some of these creatures are actually kind of tough. Oh, 
Oh, well, that knows, uh, that's a noticeable difference in damage as soon as I get my executioner form going. Oh, right, center of the level. I should be back from that just a little bit, I think. Although, given the terrain, there are uh, creatures that are likely to be able to make their way round to me anyway. Uh, what's this? Wizardry minus willpower. Oh, no, I don't think so. I, my willpower is struggling enough already. I don't think I need to throw in some minus willpower. Oh, check out the gloves, actually. Might not have something. These are regen, though. Might have strength. Um... I'll do it. I'll, I'll swap them out. Damage is going down a bit. Oh, actually, 34 is kind of making up for it, but my regen is up to 2 a ton. It's kind of what this character is all about, is staying healthy, I guess. The health on kills, regen, vampiric uh, weapon. I don't need to resist poison anymore. I got that on my armor. Not too long back, like in the depths. End of the depths, even. That's when I found a gold dragon. Should probably take out that shapeshifter before it turns into tail. I think too bad. Don't want to turn to a moth and wrath and berserk, everything of that sort of thing. Or what's another bad thing it could turn into? I mean, I um, eyeballed a mob mutated me, although that wouldn't be too bad. I do have the mutation potions, thankfully. Uh... Oh! Paralyzed, okay. Just a light and sort of that doesn't happen again. I'll just pull this guy around the corner and bring out the Holy Wrath, I think. Kind of been a huge chance of paralysis, but I know that um, the, the, I don't think they can get through your willpower. It's definitely those dry lunches. They've already got a really good high chance on their paralysis. Like you need four points of willpower just to resist the will. Oh. Oh, does that mark matter? That's three cancellation. I might use one, but I don't know about this. It's got my form going, so I should be able to do some extra damage with that. It doesn't look like too many guys are coming along. You know, having the Rampage with that form is really nice. It most feel like a uh, normal Berserk needs some Rampage or something. Having gone with a form that has it, it feels kind of nice being able to get out to things so quickly. That can always be a problem with the normal, ra uh, normal Berserk is that you then can't get up to things while it's wearing off. Do I have a scroll of poison? I have tons of scrolls of poison. Let's just make sure that guy can't get me with my asthma. It looks really funny with like an executioner using a um, whole Udemon of Holy Wrath. Or Sacred Scourge, I mean, that's not a Udemon. It's kind of a funny idea, like a little demon running around with a Holy Wrath weapon. I'm pretty sure it keeps it operating because I'm technically not a demon. I'm just like demon infused or something. Oh, ah, whatever. Ah, sure, I'll top. Hundred health is fine. Seventy health is not so good. I might drink a healing potion. Oh, it doesn't really help a lot. Um, oh, sixty zombie health. Um, 
Are these guys are faded by fear. That one maybe, maybe not. Might do one more healing potion, but I'm getting kind of low on those. Okay. I'm gonna mirror up this guy. And hit them with the immolation. I love a grab a tab burrito song, but I might just use the trauma stones. They're noisy, but they did the trick at least. Alright, what have we got? I got another char weapon, another char dub. Char dub I definitely need. Because I got an old shield to go after my uh, gold dragon armor as well, which is never going to happen, but it does mean that every scroll I find is useful. Have you done an Armator Berserk? Uh, have I done an. Oh, with like the Rampage. Um, I should check. Have I done an Armator Berserk? Uh, I'm just up the top right. I have, in fact, done an Arbitor Berserker. One one on my second attempt, apparently. I wonder when I did that. I wonder whether it was, like, before or after they got the Rampage. Huh. I remember the character. Oh, the Flaming Broad Axe. I think I've seen plenty of those ones. Off cylinder paralysis, it's probably fine. Shame I can't quite get that down to zero, though. Oh, lightning rod, sure. Um, what have I got? I got like a. I got an evasion on. I might drop the other evasion. I think that resist negative resist fire is staying on. Oh, wow, so many. And charm weapons up to plus seven on the holy wrath. Uh, where do I want to go? I mean, I could go to the side birds. Sure, let's do that. The Royal Daily is a little bit tougher as like a more of a melee character, but I think it's still a good area to go. Alright, Nick, let's go down. Oh, I, I do have the potions, so, um, of mutation. Oh, how often am I going to get... Confused. <laughs> uh, I might have tried an emulation strategy, I think, on the Royal Jelly this time round. I think there's like another way that would work well. I mean, my bolts do something if I should use them on this guy to get rid of it, but I don't feel like that's the right way to take it out. The other one is corrosion, at least. But yeah, I think uh, an emulation strategy. How many teleports have I got left? Seven. Alright, I'll probably end up using one. Oh, confused. This is not a good spot to be in. I'm going to try to go down. And it constricts me, doesn't it? Oh, I get confused again. Um, I might emulate these guys as well. About to pop. I might hop back. I think I might do another blast down here. Um... I think everything's under control again. And I've even got my executioner form going. I feel weaker. Get rid of this guy. Good. I mean, a little bit of minus run is not the worst thing ever. Um, How much is this robust actually worth? It's a real question now. I don't know if I need a third staircase. It's not that far from the one I've already got. Oh, I guess I'll clear it out. Uh, yeah, it's fine. 
There's my jam that I can't get to. I think that's going to shatter. It's only got 100 something turns left. I'm going to pull these back without the royal jelly. Oh, the royal jelly is like threatening to come along all the time. Um, Wait, I shouldn't fight the royal jelly. To fight these other guys. The raw jelly is too big to fit up a staircase, so I can just kind of fight the other dudes. Um, I purposely not attack it because it splits things out. Also, do I have a? I do have a way down, so I might just go take that one. So I'm not right next to it, but I think I've kind of cleared out everyone around it. So now it's just a matter of I tried to get somewhere where I won't get surrounded by too many creatures. Although these balls are covered in acid, which is awkward. Uh, I guess I just find out in the open. Maybe I don't even know where it is. So the more of this level I clear out before I have to fight it, the better. Because it means once I teleport, I'm more likely to end up in a good spot. A lot of shit of resistance. It's uh, unfortunately a little bit small for me. Yeah, if I put it on, I only lose like five uh, shield and three AC. Huh. I don't think the resistance is that, that important because mine are already decent. But it, hey, it could have been good. <laughs> I was playing like a, I don't know, what's a small race while well, they could use that. Uh, the kobolds, I think, are the one that really would benefit from that. Or any early game character would definitely benefit from that. It's huge early game. There's the royal jelly. So I want to, uh... Start with a bit of destruction. That didn't work. That didn't get the right guys out. I bring out some spiders, but I'm not sure that's very helpful. Um, in fact, I'm not even sure these guys can be constrained. Actually, I might sell the teleport now. This is kind of bad. I don't even really emulate these guys properly. I think that this just brought out the wrong dudes. And that was my teleport. Come on. I guess let's start another one. That was really disappointing. Two of my teleport scrolls gone. Oh, I need I need better summons than that. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Uh I guess I'll do another zap through these guys. I don't want to get myself too wounded though. Um, which way do I go? How fast are these guys? Quite a bit faster than me. Same with those. Oh, those are 160% speed. Um, I think I go here. Okay, that's not too bad. So I killed the royal jelly at least. Uh, I might let those guys spread out a little bit and try and explore some of the rest of the level before I have to find them all. Well, not so much explore, but loot, I guess, at this point. Oh, good. And I'll teleport back. Back up to six. So, of course, these guys are all unrewarded because they're all summoned in by the royal jelly. I 
That's expensive going through my, um, Bob sort of destruction or whatever it's called. Okay, what have we got? So we got the good old rune. We've got a ring of fire. Oh, it's plus five slaying, minus four strength. That's like okay ish, but I'm not sure it's something I quite want. I might just turn this requirement into money. I think. Well, I don't think I'm going to need any of the other stuff. The gloves were like. Somewhat tempting with the corridors, specifically sp for spots where I need all the corridors, but I don't think I'll worry about it. All right. Are there, is there loot I can go get? I guess the auto explorer doesn't want to go to it because it was. Ah, whoops. Was head mine stuff. Uh... My boots are plus two. What is this? Resist electric, resist poison, see invisible. Uh... Um, I was going random slow. If it didn't have random slow, I suppose I could like swap my amulet back and stuff, but nah. Well, right, I think this is my last lot of treasure. That cloak has two more armor class, but I lose the willpower. I don't think that's worthwhile. All right, I'm pretty sure I looted the one up here. But that was the one in the rune. Yeah, I'm done here. Let's get out of here. Uh, where do I want to go next? Is it, is it corrupt time? It's probably corrupt time. I don't think I would swap guards. I would just stick with back left because that's kind of the scary, this whole thing. Chance up to plus eight. It's actually doing pretty well. Um, I haven't tried getting into the death bomber or thing, but oh well. Yeah, the holy wrath definitely seems to be working. Oh, hey, Boris. It's wrapped in a little vault. That's kind of funny. And it's also Bonox's ghost in here. Farmers and fighter. I totally could fight Boris. Having him with a ghost is a little awkward. Probably not the worst thing in the world. Uh, I'll definitely clear out the rest of the level first. It gets me one teleport. I just hope I don't have to like use the teleport to get through there. This guy was melee, right? 50 damage. Not a decent amount of evasion on it. Uh. Oh. This is fine. That was a bit of torment. I don't have any resistance to that, though. Oh, another thing I've got to do after I've done corrupt, I guess. I've got to go do the, um, do a bit of Zod, I think. Yeah, I gotta fight Boris. Because he kind of got his whole orb disruption, bolt cold, iron shot, march of sorrows. Oh, yeah. And of course, the Holy Wrath is going to work just fine on the ghost. Um, I should actually check for earlier ghosts at some stage. See if there's any of those. There was the Depths 2 one, which is kind of bad. There was the Orc one, right. It's probably doable by now. But there weren't a lot of ghost vaults or anything. That's my damage, it's 35, huh? I guess uh, I guess it's a good tag delay, so I just gotta hit the tab key a lot. Well, those sort of characters, I mean, it's not quite as bad as the old quick blades back when they were, before they were changed to do two attacks each time, but attacks slower. Um, who is this? Kick. W's ghost. There are Gargoyle Fighter Chabriados. 
Oh, it's about 75 upper class, so that's gargoyle for you. They're only got 150 health. Um, I think I actually fight these. What's up with that background that they carry around? Is that their wings? It doesn't look quite right. I feel like that's meant to have transparency, but it doesn't. Um, I think that's my best guess of what's going on there, because something... Oh. I'm gonna look quite right. Uh, I'm not doing any damage here, which is a bit of a problem. Are these two guides behind are maybe a bit of a problem? I'm gonna try my tremor stones on them. Not that bad. And then I guess I'll finish up with a bit of wand of light. Uh, okay. He has me down to just the ghost, so I think he can take this out. Oh, ghost tiles get highlights. Oh, and it's blending in with the wings a weird way. No, that makes sense, because they uh, blend in a bit much. Right, no, that makes, makes uh, lots of sense. Um. Yeah, it just looks funny with the wings, but no, that makes perfect sense. Because I know that like, some of like, the feeling ones could be basically invisible. <laughs> um, check it sandwich again. That looks fine. I do no damage, are I? <laughs> there we go. Got it. I don't know that for like Portrait of Heal Wounds. Oh, well. It was maybe worthwhile. <laughs> I spent like one light ones and nothing too important because they got plenty of those ones, thankfully. Uh. Alright, well, go down to level 3. Hopefully not too many more curse skulls or something. Why oh, that guy zapping me anyway? It's not the spell dead. Is that ghostly fireball or spectral clouds? It must be ghostly fireball. I don't know. I can't say I'm recognizing whatever it is. Oh, there's a curse scale. I might go up. Kind of want to go down a lot closer to the curse scale. That didn't land me next to it. Hey, there we go. Oh, these guys are heavy up, but it's like that ghost fight. Um, didn't have to hop away because it might end up in a situation where I had to hop or blink or something or both even. But obviously, the hop would be the one to do first because that was a free one. Oh, there we go. Invocations is twenty three. I might stop it there. Uh. I heard that shield up, but. I don't think I'll go for the... Hopefully I don't need to go for the, like, the... Death Bomb right now. I think I'll just try to stick with the Holy Wrath. Oh, whoops, I got myself tormented. Oh, oh I think I've got to do a teleport. Yeah, because I kind of been wounded. That's the uh, that's the main downside with not having the torment immunity, though. You can suddenly find yourself in problems, and I think I'll try and get the torment immunity before tomb at least. That's obviously important. Somebody's got a dagger of magic point, sure. These guys bring each other back to life. Um, I can't even get to this guy. Oh, I think I do another teleport. Not ideal. Yeah. Fine, but I might get tormented a bit more. Oh, hey, this is my health back. Um, I don't know about this. This seems a bit bad with all the things that can torment. Where do I go? I might just go to Zot for a while. 
Everything was kind of going well before that level, though. Uh, let's get out the Holy Wrath. Uh, not the Holy Wrath, the other one. The healing. But to be fair, this is a spot where I might as well use the Holy Wrath. Um... Once these clouds disappear, I spray on my own. Uh... Oh, whoops. Ah, I'm sitting in that dude's cloud. I'm always like tempted to actually go get some skill with javelins. Just because it's kind of costly to do my god ability. I don't know, it probably does more damage now. Let's take a look. 3d20, I mean, it's a bit more damage. Hmm. I have been worried about trying to go through Santa with Maglev. I always feel like we're making sense to swap to another god, but I don't want to. Is that a genie ghost? I think it is. It's a uh, Teddy Mopey's ghost. Got Blank. What if I actually got on high level damage spells? Got Monstrous Menagerie Leaders Look Perfection. Got a sub top, but what does that even cast? Like Magic Dodge? I don't know, probably. Uh, it's a pendant ring. I'm kind of, there's more the slime creatures in there that could be a problem rather than the ghost, I reckon. Uh, Pen and rig isn't bad. There aren't any choke points around near this area, though. I might leave it. I'll see if I come back for it a lot, but I probably won't, honestly. Uh... That guy's after me, doesn't matter. I should have probably had to spend that time switching my weapon. I just like put my weapons on A and B. It's like, uh, well, now I'll do that. That one could be A. Uh, that one could be B. There we go. Now I should be able to switch between them quickly, but I'll probably forget to use the, like the combo to switch between them quickly anyway. But it's still nice just having them on lowercase letters. Um, I don't have to press quite as many buttons when I switch between them. Try to do a poison scroll. I got the endless of those because I did the Sigur Tuvas area. And it had a collection of them. Oh, I lost my... Oh, sick anyway, lost my poison. Yep, they were going for Zach. Even my fob going, this could be a bit of a problem. Uh... I think I've got to hop uh, back into my choke point. And of course, that's long enough for my form to wear off, which is fine. Hopefully, I can get a little bit of health back from these guys, but I don't trust that I can. Good, it's still convulsing, so even in this little... I'm just double-checking that I can still use my, like, uh, Totally Wrath of this 
the uh, execution form and the answer is yes. Yes, I can. I wonder if the duration can get refreshed when I kill someone, probably. Probably the same chance of, like, entering me into the form, not sure. It does sometimes feel like when I'm killing a bunch of things that the form's lasting quite a little longer, but I'm not sure. It might just be because I'm not doing other things that reduce this duration, like moving around. What was I setting to fire dragons? That's yeah, alright. I think fire dragons is currently my best resist, and I've got basically one of everything else. So I'm in a good spot with my resists. Um, one of everything is definitely the spot to be in. Alright, plus 10 armor. I basically turned the pageant at this point with the, all the regen I've got and the enchanted gold dragon armor. It's a, a technical monstrosity, like, unholy, right? Yeah, it's convulsing. Not so. It's like a demon or whatever. And the draconians, the dragons are affected by my vampiric draining, so I've kind of got a, a set of weapons here that works. Uh -huh. Oh, more enchant armor. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll never say no to these enchant armors. I mean, I feel like the only characters that run out of uses for enchant armors tend to be either really lightly armored characters, especially ones without a shield, or characters that do ziggurats and just find ridiculous numbers of the enchant armors. I mean, ziggurats really will throw a ridiculous number at you. They'll just keep on throwing... Chardama after Chardama and you until everything's enchanted and you usually go in with your stuff pretty enchanted too and then of course the Ziggurats also throw the artifacts that you see might not even have stuff to enchant after a while I try to kill the Moth of Wrath. There we go. Good. Did get that uh, green Draconian Berserky up or something. I remember those as a bad one. Well, so this character could probably take one on, but maybe not with all these other creatures around. Okay, I might go upstairs. I do have a lignification I can use here. Um, I might, yeah. I probably should. It will make the fight trivial at least, so. Alright. I should check what maglev titles there are. I specifically, I should check first which ones I've had. Um... Just to see what I'm going for, because I'm pretty sure I'm going for an invocation one. So, um... It won't be too hard to get one, let's see. Maglev should be on this list. Are these up to date? I don't even know if these are up to date or not, is the problem. Um, I, I saw Champion of Chaos, so that's definitely up to date. Have I been a panned moment deck? Alright, what have I been? Been a Champion of Chaos, good. I have been a pandemonic. Have I been a demolition? Is it a demolition ant? No, frog I mean? Or it's a demolition brachi? I don't know if I have. Demolition genie I've had. Huh. That might be one that I could try go with. How many pups is that? That's uh, four pups. All right. It's got to be... Hmm, 
Actually, it's assault weapons. It would be hard if I wanted to, uh, like, get bad and then go back to Mad Club to get that one. Oh. That's not good. I might just bounce back towards the staircase. I mean, a Hellbinder Maglev? That, that's not even like a Maglev title. That's kind of nice. Huh. Have I have Hellbinder? I'm not seeing it on that list. Oh, yeah, I have. I don't know what sort of character that was. You gotta keep moving back. Got the resist electric. Oh, that's more stuff. Uh, I'm swap weapons. There we go. I might just go down another circuit. I'm not sure how far away that death toe is. Curse toe. Oh my god, Dragon Arm, I've had so much of that this game. I mean, it took me a while to get some because I had to wait until it evolves for it. Actually, it isn't too bad. Sometimes you have to wait all the way until, like, Zod. Sometimes even then you don't get it. Uh, what was this? Zod 4? Alright. No clue where that cursed toe has gone, though. But mm, I guess I just go down and read a magic mapping. Don't like that layout. I pretty much just gotta go through that trap because the other side's the spousal. Oh, well, that, that could be a problem for later on, I suppose. Uh... Getting the armored shields. Do I? Mm, I don't know. I'm definitely thinking about, like, trying to get a Death Tides, but it's just I've got Holy Wrath this time around, so it doesn't feel quite right. Because I'll be giving up on my Holy Wrath. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I think I'll just stick with, stick with what I've got. Um, it does... Hmm. This made me worried about doing certain, like, hells and stuff, though. Oh. I might step back a little. Actually, that doesn't really help me, does it? Because basically just that one guy that's a threat. Oh, I mean, the Ghost Moss would be adding towards my max blocks per turn, and the Berserk one would be using a lot of those, because, I mean, it gets so many attacks. Alright, what is the plan, though? Do I just go into hell like this? I mean, I don't know. I feel like I lack your rage attacks and stuff. Let's see. Have I got any, like, vise or something? I probably couldn't even cast it. Do a vise, but it's, like, heavy armor. Uh... I'm not feeling confident going through extended like this. Maybe we should just give it a try. Sort of try to do the entrance to hell, see how that goes. Oh, it's one of these ones? Okay. Yes, I... Oh, no, three digging. I mean, that's fine in here, but, like, some of the hells really do benefit from the digging. So, we'll see about that. Oh, three games? Oh, you're checking, uh... I don't even see... That's weird. I don't even see the command. I just see the result. I don't have any interesting ones for your back left, just like middleweight champion. I think I've got the middleweight one. That's uh I think this one is really easy because you just go with any sort of common size race. I don't know if I've got all the something or other weight champion ones yet, so. I mean this uh this Android Tales isn't too bad because it gives you the walls to dig into. It'd be so much worse though if you had no digging left. I reckon that would make it quite a challenge. Are oh, you asked for our bots since they haven't played vanilla for years? The champion was a right, a, a punch goal. Because the goal stuff with level one of claws? 
remember doing a punch school at some stage, and I remember they got something that made them better than just your regular old punching, but not as good as, like, trolls, of course. So many dudes. I don't know if I can even get to this guy. I mean, I can zap him, I suppose. This duration is definitely getting topped up. There's no way this wouldn't have expired. Let's stay here, because at least I'm next to the guy. Step back if I need to. Oh, I do. Uh, if I were to scroll poison, get myself into the poison so I don't get down by one of these guys. Um, oh, hey, Kaku Demon. Uh, kind of way to ra ruin my choke point there. Also, why would I use my Holy Wrath? Oh, what am I doing here? The Vampire Draining wasn't doing a lot, so I might as well use the Holy Wrath. Oh, whoops. Ah. Oh, I got myself into the mesmerizers as foul pestilence. Um, whoa, okay, that did too much damage. Can I just? Where can I actually go? I can go this way. Might can't hop away from the fire thing. Can I blink away? What do I do? Was that not letting me either? Oh. That's actually really awkward. Um, I don't think butterflies work either, does it? Man, I got myself into a bit of trouble here. How do I get myself out of this? Um, this is uh, this is terrible, actually. Mesmerize is the thing you can like cancel up, is it? Um. Uh, slowed, which doesn't help either. It really doesn't help. Um, man, I couldn't even hop this way, could I? No. I read a typo, but I'm kind of worried here, actually. Um, I drink a healing potion. Still mesmerized, which is a big problem. Uh-huh. Um, sure. Might just use a uh, blinking to get me out of this mess. Uh... There we go. Sure. This is disappointing, but I think I just uh, go to Shiny One. Oh, they've closed one of the ghouls, but you'll end up in gloves. It's just a decent apt. And you go down to the door. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. With the other the damage later on is really good, so it doesn't matter quite as much. Oh, I'm doing the Shiny One. It's such a shame. I wanted to stick with Maglev the whole game, but I don't think I can make that happen, <laughs> unfortunately. Let's just go Shiny One. Uh, I've got my Holy Wrath weapon on, that's fine. They're not... Mac... Oh, I should have looked at what Maglev Wrath did. Oh, well. Oh, we will find out, I guess. I don't have the God abilities yet. Oh, right, Khufu. Uh, I wanted to get, like, a little bit of piety somewhere. <laughs> there we go, there's a little bit. Just get, like, Shining Aura and build up some of the other stuff as well. As for this negative going, one, oh yeah, because they don't have the piety. It'll build up to three pretty quick, though. Ooh, more digging. Uh, only two charges, but still. I don't think they can help me on those digging charges is great.
Oh, right. Macklin's zapping me with orbs of electricity. Ow. It's a lot of flame, but I should be able to kill the guy. Although I gotta remember the new divine shield is the one that uh, resists a certain number of attacks. It's no longer the one that stacks up the shield. It's kind of nice. It doesn't stack the best with shields, but it's still kind of a nice ability. Um, I might just get back here. Get myself into a corridor. Ooh. Ah, I don't know if I could break something up, but. Yeah, because fighting all these ones at once without the amount of time it is ridiculous. Hey, where are you, Kufu? I'm sure he's around here. Kufu? Kufu? Anywhere? Oh. Oh, right. Uh, I can't do the cleansing flame just yet. So I'm vulnerable to heat. At least I got a lot of mutations. Okay. Some demon dudes. At least I'm good against demon dudes by holding wrath. Um, am I? I guess I'm still getting the health on kill because uh, they're demons. That's not changed, although it doesn't work on non demons now. <laughs> I already got my slow slowed, unfortunately. It's right to keep out the power pestilence. I was just doing a really bad job at it by the looks of things. No. Uh... Wait, I might back up, but I bring the curse scale around this corner though. I don't work with the popular with those mushrooms. Anyway, I should be able to lignify up now, I think. Uh, okay, I'm lucky a few defenses. What's this guy hates up? Good. I think I, I've got the cleansing flame in these now because that's a really helpful one against some of these groups of creatures. Especially like the ones that summon stuff on the front and then you need to cleansing to get rid of the guys in the back. Do you want something with this guy? It's a uh, reflection. Might keep my regen, although my regen's also got my resist electric on it, so I gotta keep with it, right? Oh, an acquirement. What do you got for me? Plus six crystal plate armor. Probably not worth it, let's see. Yeah, I lose armor class, like one armor class, so not quite worth it. Manual of Mace and Flails is alright. I might grab that and see that on money. And I don't need the money, so it's a pretty obvious choice, I guess. Um, what's my helmet? Nothing. This one's intelligence, which I got 12 of. Is that drop the... No, I'll keep the vampire whip around. I might try... No, actually, rebounding is pointless. I might just drop it, actually. Because <laughs> it... Uh, no. Oh, I'll drop it somewhere, but maybe not here. But I eventually plan on going back to Mac 11, trying to get a bit of piety back up. All right, let's go back to hell, I think. Oh, more Kaku demons. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Uh, can I bring this guy upstairs? Good. I gotta get taken down a bit by its foul pestilence, but at least it's on its own, so I'm not too bad. Hey, it's Deckman! How's it going? 
What's the uh, the new back lip? Oh, I just abandoned them, but they they have like marks that they give you now. Um, yeah, like the mark of the execution is what I had. Man, maybe I should update my stream title. Um, I don't know what I'd update it to, because uh, unfortunately I wasn't doing so well extended with them. They they keep a lot of their old powers, like the healing and stuff, but the like the destruction. The major and minor start to get like melded together, one that scales well with invocations. And I'll get some strength. I'm really low on my strength. What are the other changes? Oh, the same with the lesser and greater servants get melded together in one that scales well with the invocations. Uh. Oh, the shield didn't last long. <laughs> Trying to think of what else has changed about them. They still get the health on uh, kills, but that's been changed around this a little bit. It happens more earlier on. I think it's about the same later on. Which is kind of nice. I don't actually know exactly how it compares later on, though. Because it used to scale very heavily with piety, so you'd have to... get a decent amount of piety before it even did anything. How do I kill that guy? I guess I just run up in Cleansing Flame? I suppose my other option was to hop up to it, but... Alright. Which hell first? Um... Not the Iron City of Death, that's probably not a good idea. Cold one, maybe? I could get two cold resist if I swap to this shield. It's not a bad idea, I think. On, uh, on DD, it was always such a gamble if it would kick in early or not. Oh, deep off with the backlip healing kills. Yeah, because they kind of needed something to heal them, right? Oh, right. Um, I can't swim. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have gone in here. My willpower is kind of suboptimal. Oh, damn, is that on Petrify? Uh, get the invocations. Yeah. Uh might actually just leave. Okay, so that's all the hell for me. Um I just I should just go to Pandemonium, I think, with this character. Got enough regen, it'll be fine. I'm just not sure that I'm going to be able to get too much piety back on Maglev, that's the problem. I kind of wanted to leave, like, uh, Pandemonium to do with Maglev, but... I don't think that's going to happen. Also, I'm blinded, slowed, weakened, and everything. These guys all hasten my stuff. <laughs> that's definitely a uh, Calanding Flame kind of situation. Uh, because I think it was like four pits of piety was the ideal amount for a title, but I could probably get a low piety one. What does this dude do? It does. Oh, melee? Sure. And it should be at the exit of uh, the next... Oh, actual exit. I was going to say next region, but I mean, I guess an actual exit. Just as good. A oh, firing... Wait, hold on. We're in the wrong shield anyway. Uh, so I got like two fire resists, I think. So I'm, oh, I took off my shield completely. <laughs> anyway, let's check. Uh, wait, one? Oh, I gotta reset these mutations. I know I'll probably lose the robust, but... Two lots of frail? How'd I go for a robust? Like, oh, I didn't even lose them. Minus fire resist. Uh, I freeze everyone. That's fine. But like, I'm mind losing this minus fire resist. Hey, there we go. Two AC. <laughs> See if I get the minus fire resist straight back with these guys. Nope, okay. Uh, I probably have another ring here as well. I'll try to slag one. That actually looks kind of good. Yeah, 40 damage. Um, 
no call with this. I gotta be, have to be a little bit careful with that, but I don't think the boss in here does any call damage. <sighs> Minus two decks, okay. Uh, usually I'd say getting up to this um, enemy and just boss and melee is a bad idea, but I've got a divine shield, so maybe it'll work. They usually hit reasonably hard. <laughs> And I also don't really have any, like, non-ballet options, so... Oh, it's the one where you can, like, cheese them, right? But I don't think I can, because I don't have the melee stuff. Non-ballet stuff, yeah, it does. Or you can just, like, trap them behind the lava and cheese them, but oh well. Uh, actually, that could be a problem. How do I get them out from behind the fire? Actually, that's not as bad as I thought because you got cover that you can take. Might as well loot this room while I'm at it. Oh, ow. I saw the teleport, but this is... Not the best, because I don't have a lot of telepods left, that's the main problem. Yeah, it's definitely the torment there that causes a problem. Uh, got a ring of intelligence points for this, and three dags. Probably not something I'm going to need to wear. Okay. Bring this guy around the corner. And I should be able to bring Sarah Bob around the corner as well. There we go. Um. Well, there's any firestorms going off or we'll get against by the looks of things. Uh. Oh, where's he going? Don't back up too much. I want to trap between me and his angel. Well, no, me and my angel. Or his angel. What, why would he have an angel? Hey, there we go. I think he blew it up with the fireball and died that way. Uh, didn't need the ring. Don't need the sword. Wait, where is the sword? Oh, there it is. Boots of willpower? There's a lot of places where I've drawn a willpower. I lose a couple of armor class. Is that worthwhile? It's only as a cosider, so I'll keep them round. But three willpower is probably good enough elsewhere. Alright, I'll just loot all these little areas, but oh, a lot of them are probably just money. Actually, some of these aren't, so we've got plus one boots. Alright, nothing else looking that interesting here. I think there's one more corner to go. Yeah, some more curing. I'm actually not like super. Actually, 13 is pretty ridiculous on the curing. Never mind. I am pretty ridiculous on the curing after all. Uh. Uh, haven't seen any ways out. That's just fine. I think the boss chambers are like guaranteed not to have like passageways to the next levels and stuff inside them, I think. Because they're like a special vault that just places down to the level. I maxed out my um, party. I could grab my weapon up with Holy Wrath. <laughs> Whatever good that would do. We'd give it a plus one enchantment level, I guess. Oh, wait. Symbol of torment. <laughs> Gotta cleanse it because I think that's been fairly effective. Alright, next region. Magical runes one where I need cold resist. I can bring myself up to two cold resist? Wait. 
<laughs> oh, I'm still wearing that ring. It's a slang though. It's really nice, but I probably shouldn't wear it on this level. Maybe some of the other ones it would make sense to wear. I don't know, but on this level, I should probably just go with the resist. So cold. I guess the good side of the near the boss chamber, right? Except maybe not. But I've wanted a long way because that's one of the ones, uh, yeah, spawns the boss chamber. Except I'm nowhere near the boss chamber. Uh... Right, well, I successfully got around the outside of the boss chamber, but that gives me a good idea of where the boss is, right? Because they kind of just. All the way in there. Um, that's currently fun. Check this guy. Oh, it's got knife and paralysis. I can probably kill that guy first. Oh, maybe not. Uh, oh, no magic points. That's actually awkward. Might go. Take the teleport trap. Uh, yeah, I thought we'd put on like a divine shield there so those guys couldn't affect me with their crystal spears, but it didn't actually work out. Oh, ow, I feel a teleport. Yeah, how much damage does that do with a mind crystal spear? Does more than got health? I mean, it's fine with a shield on, I guess. But that's gonna stop it doing anything to me. Huh. How am I going with like haste and stuff? Only three. Ouch. Yeah, the consumables have been rough. I mean, I got blinking. I, I definitely got blinking. That's about it, though. Um. <laughs> All right, what have we got? Where's the boss? It's a little bit further in, I think. Not time to buff up yet, but I'm going to have to buff somehow with this boss. I also don't have the vines going, which is a shame. Um... Hey, this lob. Were they buffed up by the brain or something? They probably were. Ooh, ow. I have an unidentified potion. Uh, that's almost certainly resistance. Kind of something I need right now. Um, I might drink it. Yeah, it is. It's my last resistance, so um, mirror the map, but I'm not sure how good they are against themselves. Oh, it's uh, a little ridiculous. Do I just get out of here? I think I do. I don't think I stick around. I think I'm losing this fight. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I usually use a hasten, but don't have the extra haste to spare this time round, so I'll just do it with the teleport, which I also don't really have a lot of those to spare, but it'll do, I guess. Um. I'm off to Demonic, Glowing, and Dark Rune. Well, not the ruin on me again. <laughs> Although I guess it's not triggering when my divine shield blocks the damage, I guess. It doesn't seem to anyway. Wow, I might just cleanse some of the stuff. Um, That's the real problem right there. Just fog up a little bit. Uh, this guy does melee, sure. Everything's going fine. Am I might actually just max out the invocations, wherever that is. Oh, I should also get some Mason Flares, because I got a manual. Let's get up to, like, at least 22. Not more. I'll definitely keep it going until that manual wears off, because it's... It's kind of damage that doesn't... Like, more damage doesn't cost much XP to get. Uh... 
I probably shouldn't worry about the shields before going down it. Uh, I can cap what you down, Bush, but I feel like the shield's more useful against specific enemies. Rather just like a general good buff to put on. Sure, cast into the abyss. Um, I'm only a level two, so I can't even find the rune, but it shouldn't be too bad to clear the sounds. That down? Uh, it's a little bit hard to tell when you're blinded because it messes with some of the colors. I think that's the only difference between the up and down ways is their color. Like the up ways are way paler, but the blinded kind of makes everything pale. Uh, temporary minus strength, sure. Garrett's attempts to get some strength to be in rather futile, I think. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, it's the temporary one. The temporary one back gets 21 is not too bad. It's, I just know I've got something draining it. Um, Something decent as well. I think it was my amulet of resist electric regen. All right, I think all these demons will be buffed up. Yeah, like this one's hasted. Another one in there was... I think it was Interflamed, actually. I thought it was this guy Reflection. I think that's fine. And it's also that guy stopped you casting, but that's... For this character specifically, that's not a big deal. Yeah, even my one spell I have got is not castable. Alright, come on. Give me a give me a rune level. I want to go through too many levels before I get that. Am I still have Maclib? Uh no, Maclib's chilled out, I think. That rest wasn't too bad. I reckon if you did it early on though, it would absolutely slaughter you, but yeah, doing it later on it doesn't seem to matter. It's just like executioners and stuff. And things that would already kind of be summoned in with uh, Pandemonium anyway. Oh, hey Ignacio, he's so... Wait, my body's racked with pain? Oh, he does have agony. Huh. Um... Not exactly where one of my angels. Although he does have an axe anyway, but I guess that's fine. Yeah, so he was gonna clear them at the same time he was attacking me, unfortunately. Wait, have I already seen the staircase off this level? I feel like I have. Definitely a pandemonium lord, so let's check what it does. Um, oh, symbol of Tom, it does have a lot of health, 160 something. Sand magic doesn't matter, because I technically don't use magic. Yeah, okay. It's lack of health was uh, was its downfall in the end. Uh, what is on here? Charming or something. Unfortunately, not just a random demonic rune. That would have been nice. Am I taking this guy out? I'm going to go with the Holy Wrath weapon. I feel like it's my most effective way of taking it out. I mean, maybe Cleansing Flame would be... I don't think Cleansing Flame would be better. It might be, like, equal. Glaciate. I've left my cold resist on. Wait, it's got a minus cold resist itself and it glaciates people. That's a funny combo. <laughs> You'd have to be very careful with this targeting, but it probably would be. Oh, minus potions. Uh, something else as well. Body deteriorates fine. I can't be like reasonably picky with my mutations though, because I got like 17 potions of mutation or something left. Um.
Yeah, I'm definitely, definitely thinking about just like resetting that, but it's not bad. Like hugely bad. I might give it a try. Uh oh, I'm a fist ball. I made it worse, I think. Let's try it again. Freeze people around me and I'm agile. I mean that's alright. Yeah, I'll do. Oh hey Lob. Lob's gonna kill these other guys, but I still can't kill Lob low bod. Oh, I might just do a teleport. Hey, there we go. Glowing room. I should not explore this one. I should uh, revelations this one and try and collapse straight to the boss, but. Oh, do I need to put all those boots of willpower? I think the answer to that might be a yes. Um... I don't get them on, I don't think. Well, that guy started messing with my. Stuff. Uh, I think I'll oh, play two or so target anyway. My time to put the boots on now. Let's give it a try. What just happened? Oh, not the armor fits Polly again. Oh, I might try and reset that, but... Plus magic points, okay. And my wands are strengthened with magic. Well, that's not bad. I can live with that. Uh, master of invocations. I might as well master out the fighting. I might as well master the shields, master the armor. Yeah. Oh, from minus potions again. Oh, well, let's probably find it here. My David twists and deforms. I guess that's better than me. <laughs> Twisting and deforming. All right. Oh, my David managed to uh, get rid of that kangaroo demon. I thought it might, but no, the kangaroo demon decided to swap back with one of his friends. Oh, whoops. Should have cleansed before those got quite to that stage. I should also try and get my magic back. I don't think I've got a way of regening that one. I like, got the health regen, which is great. It's keeping me healthy. <laughs> I don't have the magic regen yet. There's also a top edge around here somewhere. Uh, this level really loves to spam creatures, especially with all the summoners it throws at you. Like this guy, the summoner that summons the summoner. Uh, no, most of these aren't summoners. Uh, actually, I guess, actually, I guess it was just the one up the front that wasn't the summoner. The rest of them probably were. <laughs> On top of these mutations, I got minus potions again, right? That's fine. Those are my armor class are slightly down, but I think that's because I had a plus armor class mutation for a while. And I don't have it anymore, because uh, I've been resetting them. All right. I'm bringing the angel, see if that does the trick. Yeah, I mean, all that spider going around is doing a lot, I think. Uh, spells doesn't matter. I got my rune, so I can just get out of this level. Finally.
Oh, got me with the minus potions, sure. So I was uh, trying to hide behind my friend. Anyway, so I've already got like a couple more pandemoniums, I think. So I got the demonic one and the dark one. The demonic one's just a random one. The dark one's the... Uh... Uh, or Glorious Fox. Oh, silenced. Should have checked what I had. I mean, that's probably fine. It's not that healthy. I don't have a problem with these other guys around, though. All right, next level. Do I? I should have just enchant my weapon here. I probably should have, like, holy wrath that up with, um, go, not go dang with the shining one at some stage anyway, just to get it up the enchantment level, but I don't have to anymore. Everything is maximally enchanted. I'll go for full 15, or could you get out and, uh, catch one? Yeah, go for the full six, uh, 16 again. No, what's 16? 15. Because I'm on a, on a little streak, like a little mini streak of 15 rune games. So I was like, oh, might as well keep it going, see how long I can get it. But I'd love to get up to a 15 streak of 15 runes, but I doubt it would get that long. Alright. Hey, there we go. Dark runes. <laughs> Size of the distortion draw. Oh, actually, I might just start a teleport. <sighs> How far can I hop here? Not perfect. Okay, good. Everything is fine. Yeah, okay, that just kind of just put me into the thick of things, all the time in there from the curse girls, but... It will be fine when I get back, so hopefully I can pick off the curse scales and not do that again. Oh, I want to be in my angel boss fighting this guy, but that's fine. It doesn't happen. I've done a couple of 15 runes, but these days you tend to feel once you've got a handful of uh, extended runes, that's it, you've proved your point, go home, fair enough. No, it does take a little while getting through the whole of extended. Although I feel like I think some of the extended branches don't have quite as many levels as they used to. The hells don't have nine levels anymore or whatever it used to be. Down to like seven. I'm pretty sure it used to be nine levels. It would make sense if it was. This is a block. I'm going to bring in the angels. There he is. I don't think I tree up. I think I just fight as I am with my armor class. I'd particularly you do tomb, fourth or fifth. And then you just do his art, yeah. I mean, it's interesting with Tomb, because for characters designed for it, it can kind of not be bad. But if, you, if you're if doing a character that's like not really designed for it, you kind of definitely proved a point that the character could do extended. Uh, Although I guess there is always the, like the attrition of running out of potions and stuff that can get you on runs that don't spawn in with many of those. Uh, I'm after the demonic one, right? That's kind of awkward, but oh well. Uh... Actually, I might fog. It's kind of trying the fog. I don't know. It was it was blocking the path most of the time. Do I just wait for it to announce it, Rune, or do I try and specifically seek out the Pandemonium Lords? Uh, might just wait for it to announce it, Rune. I feel like that's often quicker. Also, you've got uh. 
Wait, you got two fifths of that character. Right. Fourth of another character. Have you done a third? You have done a third. Have you done a first? Can you even do it first in the version of Crawl you play? You done plenty of fourth. I see a seventh in there. Oh yeah, plenty of thirds. Uh, Cause I know like the, the stone soup version of crawl lets you do it first now, which I don't think it used to. Cause you need to you used to have to have a rune to get into vaults, so you'd have to do it second, I think. But now you can just happily head and get it as your first rune. <laughs> oh hey, lob. Probably gonna have to teleport. Closing that door doesn't really help. Play. Love is already looking a bit damaged. I see another pandemonium lord here that I need to look at. Oh, silence. I'm teleporting. Yeah, I mean, that could have been good of that. I don't want to have that guy take away my escape option, though. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, Lob again? Um... Uh, is this working? No, it's not working. I better teleport. Oh, man. That... Teleport didn't even work. It's back. I don't think that one worked either. I don't mind if one of these teleports worked. Um. Oh, so oh, I'm marked. That's not helping. I cancel the mark and then I'll read another one of these teleports. It's a shame. I've only got like five of them left, but. Um. Hmm. Might have got me far enough because I'm no longer marked. If I just try and stay away from that side of the map, I might be able to get out of here. I think it would not be practical to do a first second without a. Uh, well, some like clearing out a rune bunch but not actually touching the rune. Um. I mean, it's it's doable. I've done it before without going into Rude Bride to the Path of the um, Vaults. <sighs> Come on, please get me off this level. Got like a terrible bad emotion of long, long low bond. It's gonna be down to three teleports. Yeah, I mean, you gotta you gotta go with a character specifically designed for it, so you can't just do it with any character. Uh, it's definitely doable. Where is the game hiding the passages off this awful level? Um, I don't know, I was doing an awfully good job hiding them though. I don't need a blink for this corrosion ring, I'm not sure why I'm carrying that one around. Oh, there we go, finally, okay. Let's get out of here. But I've still got a demonic rune to go find. So I'm just going to have to go straight back into Pandemonium and hope for the best. Oh, here it is. Unfortunately, on a shining one level, but... <laughs> well, my holding wrath doesn't do a whole lot, but hey, it's something, I suppose. My cleansing flame also won't work. Um, I mean, I can summon angels, but that's about my only god ability that works. Your first uh, Vampire of Kiku was especially designed for it, and of course came... Uh, some of the later ones were well adapted, but these days you just think, maybe Tomb's viable? <laughs> oh, your version doesn't have dispersal traps. I mean, Tomb, you could definitely... I don't know, I've done it early with a Shiny One character, I basically just like, it's like a Minotaur or something. Um... I don't need more of these. Holy Wrath weapons, that's silly. Yeah, and I just kind of got a lot of invocations. It was hard finding the electrification potion, actually. <laughs> that was one of the problems. Um, oh, two haste? Yes, please.
I might just get... Oh! Please don't make me teleport. Okay, I don't think... Do these burn? My angel's still alive? My angel's dead, right? Because my angel's dead, I can burn these guys. I just don't want to, like, get the shiny one angry at me for burning up my own angel. <laughs> I mean, they don't mind me burning up other people's angels, but... Uh, but I mean, I'm kind of burning up their angels. Because I think the angels do say that the shiny one smites me. Uh, got a little bit of dodging. Got a little bit of evocations. Actually, before I get that, let me just try and get the, um, try to occasion air, see if I can get the buys going. Because it could have some use. Uh, more sacred squad, just not being sure of those this game. Oh, more haste. This is great. Take me from three haste to six haste, although, to be fair, I'm going to have to use one at the haste. Um, if I want to kill the boss of this level, which I probably do. It would allow me to get my rune. Uh, oh, they do the angel spam, though. I still think it's worth trying. Pulling these guys back because uh, the boss is close. But I might go. Oh, there's my minus potion triggering. Anyway, I might go around this side as well. Try and clear out both sides. Although, with it being pandemonium, it might spawn stuff in anyway, so it's not perfect clearing out both sides. Oh. There they are. They're out angel spamming me. Um, oh good, they're dying. Yeah, that's actually a pretty big army of angels because my mirror also brought in angels, so it's basically angels all around. <laughs> And all this infighting within the Shining One Fallen Lewis. And there we go. Oh, these aren't mine. I might as well offer the Shining One a prayer unit if they were trying to stop me getting the rune in here. Well, they were also helping me getting the rune by letting me summon angels. I don't know. I still feel like angels should be friendly to shiny one worshippers, just like slimes are friendly to jeeva worshippers. I really feel like that should be a thing. Oh, it's a pity you don't have a weapon other than a sacred scourge. Yeah, I have like a... Oh, there's a way out. That's good. I have like a um, demon whip, but I'm not allowed to use it. Uh, I might just go to tell. How are these looking? Oh, might reset some of these. So... Your horns? Oh, that means I can't wear my helmet. I might actually reset these. I'm frail, okay. I'm frail with a bad temper. I got tough scales, I got minus potions. Um. Right, I should put my helmet back on, of course. Uh. Probably put that shield back on. Actually, no, I might put the cold one back on. All right, let's go back to hell. Uh, I was going to go to the cold hell, I think. Got the willpower now, right? So it's on one percent and petrify. I still, unfortunately, have to melee it, which is... <laughs> yeah, somewhat unfortunate, but...
Or angels used to be friendly to high piety, worship the good gods, but do you think that they also could get holy pan? I mean, that, that sort of also makes sense. I don't know. I just find it really strange, like, Shining One Worshippers bashing up Holy Pan. It doesn't feel right <laughs> to me. Oh, hey, okay. I still can't do that thing, can I? I gotta try different again, because I just made a bunch of noise, but that's fine. Oh. Fog, please. Help me, Fog. <laughs> That's actually doing a not bad job now. <laughs> oh, I could do more, Fog. Come on, spread a bit better. Kind of out of magic points now, but hey. I don't think any of these guys give it back either, because they're not demonic. <laughs> I like the all oh, our oh, dead on dead walls. We give it back, like the simulacrums. rooms. Oh, I told you a list to put back. You don't like the cognitive dissonance of holy battle and good god watch, but yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Like, there's nothing wrong with it from mechanic side. It just, I don't know. It doesn't make a lot of sense. I wonder if I can avoid the spot. Uh... I think those guys are like trapped on the island, so. Should be able to avoid it. Also, how much digging did I get? Did I get more? I got four digging. Oh, come on. I guess I shouldn't have expected to have found too much more, but it'd be nice if, like, usually around 20 or something when I get in here. Because I believe I've already used, like, one charge of digging. Oh. Oh, that looks like another fog. Oh. Uh, I can't hop anymore. Um. The fog is disappointing. Uh. I could hop, but it wouldn't get me very far, would it? I might give it a try. Ooh. 30 hit points is really bad. I think I can play these guys, but this is actually really bad. Uh oh. I've kind of had problems right now. Um, I know these guys can't swim, but... I don't have my hop anymore. I do have a blink. I should blink down. Uh, I got a bit of cold with this. What do I do to this guy? He's got to take it out with, like, light or something, I think. Alright, I've got to regen. I'm just going to have to dig into here and regen a bit. There we go. 40, almost 50 health. Okay, 40 health. There we go. Oh, that sounds sketchy with those guys getting dispersed out of there. I should be more careful with the dispersal trap, which I think is there. Oh, right. That guy can't actually move up to me. Uh, I don't have a range option, do I? I mean, no, I don't think my boomerangs do it. Oh, did he bring the boomerangs? All right. Can always do the um, fog if I need to. Oh. Huh. Can't see that far if I step. <laughs> Doesn't quite work. Um, I see the way down, which is unfortunately it's in the air, but excluded off. So, mm.
Uh, Angel's doing something. There we go. I think that's cloud and Alice. I can finally take the way down here. I can probably get rid of the exclusions because uh, there's nothing really holding the enemies into that one spot anymore. Not after that dispersal trap. Can move back. This is good enough for a choke point, I guess. Uh, I don't think I used the dinghy to make it into a proper choke point, but it's definitely an option. Some of these guys are just random fake summons. I gotta work my way through if I want to get to any of the interesting stuff. All right, one way down here. I'll put on a divide here just in case. You get into a tormentor. Uh, I might pull it in with some fog. Hopefully, they can get to me because I'm a bit worried to come with the uh, way that the wood is laid out. Oh, they could not. Oh, I think the safest option here is to blink back. Oh, still see me? Come on. No! Come on. Oh, really? Okay. Try fog up, but that doesn't always work. Huh. <laughs> It was just like tempting me. I was like, "This is totally diggable." It's like, no, it actually isn't. Uh. That's a lot of dudes. Can I just start some fire? I think this is fine. I might divine shield again. And again, just to make sure. Um, Alright, this is the last level I can't. Oh, I could magic map it if I wanted, I guess. I don't know if it helped that much, but I got 10 magic mapping. I guess I'll drop one on it. It's got to go straight down, don't I? Alright. Uh, I don't even know if those skills are high enough. I'm going to presume they're not. But I haven't been uh, checking on my percentage chances and stuff. Oh, 38%? Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, once I get them to 15, maybe I should actually get some spell casting. It won't help with the magic points, but it's still going to help actually get things castable. Usually something nasty guy like this. Oh, just uh, those ones? Okay. Oh, can I have my willpower back, please? I'm uh, just like trying to hide away from those and get that back. But of course, if I get petrified, there's no way to stop it. Okay. But yeah, this is definitely a level that makes your uh, life easier if you can either swim or fly. Because there's so much you can just skip and go basically straight down to the boss. Uh... Oh, I should actually run up. Uh... Oh, come on, fuck. I mean, eventually. <laughs> Fill the area, but it might be quicker just to uh, kill those guys uh, while risking the damage. 
I already get too distracted, but I guess I could go back this way. I don't think there's really much in the way of like diggable stuff on this level. Uh, oh, head Taz. He's got poison resist. He's got extra strength. Um, he's got resist electric on his rig. Minus cover resist. Crazy. I don't think that matters for him. I'll just pull him around the corner. Also, my divine shield on, I should be able to bally him. Also, he didn't notice me. Yeah, look at that. He's futilely trying to get through my divine shield. I don't like him running around randomly. That doesn't help. It's always kind of funny running up to like these ice statues with a high level character and they just spam all the little ice beasts because it uh, doesn't do a lot. I mean, I guess it fills up spaces, could make it harder for you to actually get next to them. But anyway, that's my, I think that's my first hell rune. So I should have just been able to leave now that I finally got that one. How's the vise doing? 16%? Okay. Uh, which one's next? I've still got the abyss to go, I've still got... Harder's Gehenna. Actually, I can swap my shield back. I don't need the cold resist so much anymore. I got the tomb. Oh. I'm not going to have a fun time in Tartarus. Um. I think I go with Gehenna, but I might want to get. Give it the fire resist, I guess. I'll take off the cold resist or the evasion. Yeah, I won't have any cold resist. Oh, it actually does seem worth having one of that. But I think I'll go with the slag in here. There's also another... Oh, I don't have flight, do I? Did that not... Oh, the other one's flight. Without the slag, I don't know. I don't think the flight's exactly needed. It can sometimes be useful, though. Looks like a fine group of guys. This is actually how many attraction do I have? Five. Oh, never mind. Just a it's a spot where I could do an attraction, pull some of these guys in. But I don't think it's a spot where it's necessary to survive. Like some of these hell levels can be. Oh, I'm actually down a little bit on my party. When did that happen? Huh. I don't know. Oh, my last digging. Oh. Whatever. That's still fine with the health. Uh, and I guess that was everything because the bike didn't pull anything in. It would have, there was stuff left, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. I think I just take the hell effect so I'll just get out of there for a little while, um, get my health back. I'll see if this ends up once. That must be a temporary reduce my health mutation. I wish I had fog. Um. <laughs> nah, it's not working. Okay, maybe another health. Um, but let's go to a tomb, actually, I think. <laughs> In that case. Might as well go away. I'll get the max health back uh, pretty quick, I think, in tomb. Thankfully. Yeah, there we go. The frail's gone. I just got a little bit of drain that I can also get rid of. 
Should I try and run up? There we go. Uh, let's see. So I've got plenty of leg notifications, but do I have any more attraction? Now I've got five of those, so that's fine. Five's probably enough, but um, I'm going to have to do the mummies of the walls. Always makes things a little bit more difficult. Whoops. Ah. I actually didn't get myself slow, but I did spend a time in one of the calcifying dust. I could have got myself slowed. Um Okay, pull this guy around the corner, I think. Oh, of course, that means they're gonna find all the little guys. In fact, if I just hop next to it, there we go. Does mean I don't have uh, the escape option to hop away, but I'm sure I can rely on blink scrolls if I actually need to escape there. Because in terms of consumables, that is one that I actually got, so. Uh... Did Shiny One Party uh, gain get reduced, or are the Shiny One abilities just a little more expensive now or something? Because I never seem to remember running down on Piety much until the rework Shiny One, which doesn't really matter, it's just... Huh. It does, I mean, it obviously in the Iron City of Dust had run down before. That's still fine. But now, um, even outside there, can be a couple of points shot. All right, where's the way down? Am I still... Okay, the resist look fine in here. I think I'm going to have to haste and lignify. Um... Oh, and of course, attraction. Okay. And I probably got some magic potions unless I dropped those, which I might have, actually. Uh, I should probably go grab those after this fight, I think. That's, now's not the best time to figure out that I've dropped all my magic potions. No, that would have been back when I was watching back level. I was like, oh, these aren't that useful. These are just basic guys, just like to walk up on their own. I don't think any of them are going to settle net traps either. Uh, oh, I better move up to the real risk, uh, real dangers here. Okay, magic potions, magic potions. Remember the magic potions. Um. Okay, magic potions. Let's go grab those. What's, what? Wait, don't that can't be a way up. It's a way. Yeah, that is a way up. I was gonna say this can't be a way down, but I thought I got to it by using the key combo for fighting a down staircase. I don't know. Anyway, let's get out of here. So I need. That was one two one as well. I must have it off my auto pick up as well. Um oh, it's everywhere. That would be because I dropped it. I still haven't changed around my settings where I take things off auto pick up and I dropped them. I should change that. That's actually a little annoying. Um I was like, got a potion of magic or something. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um. There we go. So I got a... Oh, well, I'm already in two. I'll just take the way down that I know. I've got to take the upstairs. Okay, it's not that one. That one. 
All right, raw bobbies it is. Uh, I pull this one around the corner. I'll just say with this one, I think it's worth pulling them back in small groups, it's not fighting them all at once. Yep. Repeat the process. They are faster than me, though, I think. So it doesn't quite always work. I might just run up to this one. I don't think it's likely to have too many friends behind it. That set off the alarm trap. Um, I think it's okay. And the most it takes me like one teleport to get out of there, but it looks like I'm doing just fine. I get some mason flails, but I'm feeling a little bit wounded. I also get the... I think the dodge get a little bit on it. Yeah, I get that one. I can vise. I should vise. That's a health. It's doing okay. Oh, my good slowed. Um... Might need to tree up. I think I tree up and then just hit this guy. It's been a uh, while since I've done like the mummies of the walls because usually you just have telebonds to use. All right, let's go down. Uh... Oh, that net trap's gonna get. That is just. Yeah, net trap's gonna get set off, isn't it? Oops. Ooh. Spousal trap, so we might just hop back here anyway. Oh, that was another net trap. Okay. Oh. Sure. I just blink into. Yeah. I read a. Well, drink a lignification. I think I might drink one of my magic as well. That dude just, oh, I might hit these guys with the attraction, unless he's going to stand back there for quite a few turns doing this thing instead of running up to me. I should put my Divine Shield when the old structure was going along. I mean, I think I blocked it anyway, but a Divine Shield would have guaranteed his block. All right, so down the second level, I should put on, I should put on Divine Shield... Um, definitely a haste. Okay. Might start the attraction now and then just go down. Ooh. Um. I'm blinking into here. Uh, that'll do. These guys are going to hit dispersals, but oh well. I did get netted in the end. I did an okay job of keeping myself out of nets, but... Can't keep it going forever. Um... Eh, 
Yeah, I'm down to... Huh. Down to four party. I think I was down to three for a little bit. I don't want to lose my collecting flame. That would be the worst thing to lose in here. Oh, um, hey, teleport. Sure, I'll lignify again. I think... Uh, I'll mark. That's a good time for attraction then if I'm marked. I wouldn't get all my magic back, but I got potions. It will be fine. And no gem. Uh, but I did get a rune. I've got 11 runes. What do, oh, digging. What do I have left? I've got... All the number of things I have left. I can't even remember what the old is. I don't need the charm weapon. I don't need the pram weapon. Um, oh, wait. Wait, wait. That cloak is better than mine. Mine's only a plus one cloak. No, plus zero cloak. This is plus one. With a good old willpower on it, of course. Uh, do I need a poison resist, resist, electric resist, fire? Maybe. Um, let's see. So... I could get strength back if I did that. Because I could swap my amulet. The one that's giving me a resist electric right now. Um, do I need to resist negative? Do I need the resist corrosion right now? I don't think so. I think pretty sure that's on my boots. So I can swap out the... Fire resist, resist, negative, resist corrosion. I don't know if that helped my damage, but presumably... <laughs> Oh, good. I can enchant something. I've got still my gold dragon armor. And my cloak is still waiting to be enchanted, I guess. Uh, what are my boots? I all the right there with the willpower ones that I actually need. Anyway, I can get out of tomb. Tomb is finally done. Back to. Oh, we've got three. Piety pups. Um. The Tartarus? Probably. Right, but it's on the cast before, but that means no angels for me. Tartarus does need some angels at the end, so I'm hoping I can get some piety back. I'm silenced. Really? This starts me silenced? I'm gonna have to stare dance it, aren't I? My last attraction, but oh well. Whoo! What's the best thing to do? Um, I should have put my divine shield. What just hit me? I mean, since that's the middle of the thing. Uh, I like how that guy's got a crystal spear. Um. I think I might just blink. I think that's the safest option. The cleansing flame might work, but... Oh, right. It's got the attraction going. That should be fine, I think. Maybe. It does mean as soon as something gets on the screen, it will get attracted. All right. I need these guys to actually move up. <laughs> And I'll probably get a cage or torment, but it's not too bad. I should refresh my divine shield because this guy's got a crystal sphere. Be nice to make that completely harmless. All right, where's the tormented guy here? It was the second level Tartar, so I gotta take a number of hell effects here. But oh well, um, I might just fully explore this level. Try to get rid of as much of the health effects as I can, but... Not oh, perfect. Oh, I'm still silenced. I'm gonna go up. Ooh, that's sketchy. Didn't kill this guy. Oh, that is sketchy. Huh. Might divide cleansing flame again, but... Okay. 
Back down, I guess, but I think it covers most of the tormentors at least. Right. That's uh, that entrance. Clan. Now, that was mean, though, just starting you in the silence with endless things and torment. I will have to go into the silence at some stage to get to my staircase, I guess. Uh, I don't even know where the guys that sounds it up, but yeah, oh, there it is. How much digging am I out of digging? I got five more on the tomb, so I do have a little bit. Thankfully, I should move off my seconds. I should stick around ready to escape should I need to. Also, my intelligence has gone up a lot for considering it was down to like five at one point in the game. <laughs> oh, visors, that's right. Visors castable. Um. Wait, did I miss? Oh, it's 3% failure. I guess I did just miscast it. Maybe I should get, uh, I should actually get a little bit more on that. I should get this up to like 18. Guarantee that it's not going to fail on me. Oh, actually, I won't do the air. Um, because I might be able to get some other translocation spells. I should check on that. I might have like random blink because that can sometimes be useful. I think they can get you out of, oh, well, portation can as well. Can get you out of some things. A pile driver? Wait, what was that? That wasn't the pile driver. Uh, passage, maybe? I'm not sure I would have enough power to really be useful. I'll grab bots 50%, but whatever. <laughs> I'll grab it, I'll probably never cast it. Oh, I have to say, I guess I should just take it, shouldn't I? Got rid of most of my health effects, too. Oh, I know what I'm forgetting about. My scrolls are poisoned, so that I don't have to... I mean, it's too late now because I'm already in these guys' poison. But what I can do is I can read a... Uh, scroll of poison, stand in the poison, and these guys kind of fake me with their poison. It doesn't help when I'm silenced, okay. Because it runs away from me, but none of these are going to pose a problem. We can just tab through everything here. Uh... Doesn't help me with, like, mesmerize, but it's at least nice not to get slowed. Alright, this is the uh, last level, I do believe. Looks like it. Let's get the poison. Tells me I have to be like off my staircase, because unfortunately the poison does not appear in the spot where I cast the spell. Uh, I did get slowed, okay. But I'm still going to bring up more poison. It's funny, I was like wanting to be able to stuff and want to fake, but I'm not doing it to affect the creators, I'm doing it to protect myself. And also because I got like a Sega Tuba's vault worth of scrolls of poison, so might as well use them. I just drop a magic mapping shot. I mean, I don't really need to, but I got tons. Got enough to get through dust. I don't need them for Gehenna. Oh, hey. Group of dudes. Uh, I gotta read another scroll. I'm pretty sure that poison's not sticking around. Oh, I'll read another one. This is basically this is the only place where they're useful, so. Read as many as I want. <laughs> and I would have summoned a ton of angels. I managed to get a little bit of piety back, so that's helpful. What 
try and pull some of the creatures back first, but that's I'm rather close to the boss. Um, oh, I'm doomed. Oh well. Oh, maybe. Oh well. Or maybe. Looking for a typo. We'll see how this goes. If Eric Giggle pops her head around the corner or not, I don't think she quite noticed that. Actually, that was not bad because I pulled out some of the guys. Now I can just bring in the angels, as many as I can have, and go fight Eric Giggle. Yeah, well, I'm paralyzed, but the angels aren't, so. <laughs> I can't complain there. There we go, 12 runes. Um, where next? So. Is the Iron City of Dis or Gehenna? I've got the fire of this right. Um. Let me think about this a little while. So. I'll probably Gehenna. I think it was a somewhat nasty level though, right? I can't even remember what it was anymore. I can't even remember where it was. Level 3? Level 4? Oh, the Tormentors. That's probably fine. Not that I have any attraction anymore or anything, but I think it was worse when I initially got to it. Um, yeah, and by now they're next to the staircase, which was really nice as well. Um... I got some haste potions. I got four haste potions. So I should be able to use one of them with the boss here as well, which is nice. And I've also got mine, which I shouldn't be using a bit more, but it's fine. It means I still got it for situations where I need it. Let's go down again. Oh, hey. Elephants. Also, nothing stopped me just going down. <laughs> The love is up perfect. Can I drink a potion of enlightenment if I need to fly? I think so. Like, say if there was a... I mean, it takes a turn, but... Sort of swapping a rig, right? <laughs> Might be a good idea to do one right now. These guys are all, like, smite targeting me, which is, uh, adds up. I've fought that group before, and it can definitely add up. But mainly for, like, Sprigans and characters with low health. Barrages are... Are they kind of average, or are they just average? I don't know. I think they're definitely not bad. I know that's um, true about Barrages. Oh, more mutation. 14. I'm still on uh, AC. Oh, minus potions occasionally. I see. So not perfect, but plus AC is kind of nice. Maybe worth it. Probably worth it. Okay, there's a 30% chance of boss here, but I'm going to wait till I actually see them to drink the taste. Which is probably a good thing I did, because I think this is the wrong... Oh, wait, no, there they are. Oh, I bet they're wounded as well. Oh, well, I guess uh, taste is the thing to do. Um, Do I have a mirror? I might just mirror them up. But they do do summons, and it's great when the mirror starts summoning. Uh, now I think... Oh, I put on Divine Shield to blind them, and then I'll just go fight. Their melee should be fine. Their main warrior summons. Now nah, I lost my one. But they're not summoning right now, so that's fine. They just mainly did their melee, which was... I was completely immune to because of my divine shield, basically. Alright, where's the way out of here? Huh? There's probably, like, a little piece of lava somewhere. Yeah, over here. That's not for me getting uh, from auto traveling out. Something that I know is gone, but like the game doesn't let me know yet. 
So there's the Abyss of the Iron City of Dis. Um, but I'm not the best of the Iron City of Dis. Do I have a... Oh, I might have an Evening Star, but it's probably in the tomb or something. Ah, you know what? I can go down without any penalties because I didn't take the teleport method. Um, oh. I can't brand up with Holy Wrath because I don't have the piety. Okay, Abyss it is, I guess. So I can probably get some piety back in the abyss. Um, I just want to wait for this like uh, higher damage per attack, but less attack delay in the Iron City disc because everything has so much armor class. It's just kind of ridiculous to try and whip it down. Get down to level three. That's not a thing that gives me piety. <laughs> it's a random elf. Hanging out in the abyss. I mean, I guess it's uh, probably being corrupted by the abyss. You know, it's, uh, how many elves have, like, um, banishment? It actually kind of does make sense for an elf to be sitting in the abyss. Because if they fight each other, you'd think there'd be, like, a lot of banishment going on. I just happened I lost a minus robust, I think. Or frail, or whatever it's actually called. And I got it back. And I got some cold vulnerability, which is not great. Oh, did I get a... Ah, oh, an uncontrollable temper too, so I'll be slowed half the time. Like, it's probably still fine, it's just not... Perfect, okay. So I got the uncontrollable temper, but I lost some of the other stuff. Uh, I got my max house back, okay. Yeah, I got everything back. I got my cold back. Could go down to level 4. I think I might... I won't go down to level 5, though. I won't go towards the rune. Because apparently that's already here. It doesn't tell you about it when you like when it's already there. Um, so interesting. Ooh. Not bad. <laughs> I gotta steal it. <laughs> Yoink it towards me. Alright. A lot of the abyss ones guard their rune fairly well, but apparently not that fault. Um, do I want to go down? Not really. Oh, but I maxed out my party, so I can go brown my, um, wherever it is, Evening Star. <clears throat> Bring it up to, wait, there's only plus eight. Um, I've got an enchant weapon somewhere for this thing. Ah, it's probably, I'll probably just have to wait till I get out of the abyss. this dude doing to me? Minus strength, screaming, potions ineffective. Sure. But they're all temporary. Okay, I've got a, I've got a sharp weapon around here somewhere. Uh, there's one that's odd. I might go grab that. Oh. <laughs> it's inside a little, uh, it's a little vault. I might just go grab the one and tomb that. All right, well, Iron City of Dis, I guess it is, because I don't think I've got anywhere else, right? Uh, I look like it. That's the Iron City, right? Yeah, it is good. I might do a bit of exploring. I want to get rid of some of these, like, temporary mutations and stuff. I know I can just go straight down, but this level looks peaceful enough to get rid of them. What's my attack delay? 0.7. It's gone from 0.5 to 0.7, which is not bad. I think my shield is uh, not slowing at all. I made some flails and masters too. I could get dodge. Oh, I did get the evocation, so I should get a little bit more of that. Um, 10 dodging didn't, oh, didn't make much of a difference. I won't get any more. <clears throat> I'll keep the slaying on. It helps make up for the minus slaying. Was I meant to swap my amulet at some stage? Yeah. Ow. Whoops. Let me go do that right now. I was meant to put it on a basic regen because I could get back some strength. 
It's a two mod, maybe the closest. I don't even know. I'm showing up first on the list, and I think they're roughly sorted by order. Also, uh, I could swap. Uh, do I need a cold resist? Because I could like swap some stuff around, like my shield around or something. No, I think that's good. Let's go back to the Iron City of Dust. What even is the ladder for that? I actually makes sense. I like some of them. <laughs> some of them just kind of ran out of ladders, so they just went with whatever, right? I should actually buff up, maybe. All right, how much am I plonking this guy for? 50, uh, four, so not a huge amount. It's getting there. And half of these guys, I don't think are even vulnerable to the Holy Wrath. All right, I did max out my party as well before coming in here, which is nice, because this often takes piety. You know, with everything in here being... Should cleanse these guys. Everything in here being like, uh, golems and that sort of thing, rather than undead and demons. I mean, they are undead. Oh, I should put on the shield. And also the divine shield being so useful against all these, uh, golems and stuff. Minus 14 corrosion. I might put on a shield. That's... Uh... Getting a little bit sketchy, a minus 16, yeah, I mean, it's all starts at 8, so. Alright, next level. Uh. <sighs> Final cleanse. Could actually hop. That's the other option there, <laughs> to get into this little spot. I could magic map as well because I got way too many of those, although I almost feel like I just fully explore these levels. Uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, marked. Not for long, but like long enough that I'm going to pull in a bunch of guys. Yeah, I mean, the mark got taken away by Boulder Quicksilver, I think. Oh, I'm definitely glad I swapped weapons. This is uh, still reasonably slow at tapping my way through those guys. And um, what's my damage on this? 50 something? It was like 30? 40? It was 40 something. It was low 40s before the other one. Alright, let's go down. Revelations. Oh, there's a lot of dudes. And I had to fight the middle as well because, um. Wait, hold on. I go this way. It's got less alarm. Oh, he's got a alarm trap. No, never mind. I go this way. After all. But yeah, it's basically... I mean, I guess there's a choice of two separate ways here to get to my way down. But it really is kind of like a little fortress one, this one. Do you remember the vibes? Also, the Gravaz is actually usable now. Huh. I'm going to give that a try. Interesting. Um, oh, let's just put on the Divine Shield there. That's a bit more damage than I want those guys to do. Why am I going this way? That was... That was dumb of me because it got me marked. Um, probably still fine. If it's just these guys, it's fine. What do I want to get? Actually, what do I want to get? I get a little bit more dodging, but I don't think it helped that much last time I get it. I get a little bit more evocations. I kind of, um, I guess I can always get more transvocations and stuff. Kind of gone through a lot of the useful skills, so actually I should try and get this boss if it's a thing. It's available. I they all have their, like, stuff to reflect back. Oh, um. Fog, I think. Let's try it. Hey, good night there, Geolodge. 
Don't splat, I'll certainly try not to. I've come far enough. It'd be a shame to splat on my last rune. But only two more floors to go. All right, have a good night and see you some other time. Hopefully you don't splat your next character either. I'm gonna go with that piety. Three pumps, okay. Is it cleansing flame that got increased in piety costs or did nothing get increased? I'm just worse at managing my piety than I used to be. I mean, I, I know I'm doing more on uh, Divine Shields, I think. Whoa, hey, there's a lot of dudes. Um, Oh, all the statues woke up, did they? I like, this level's cool. Oh, um, good thing I'm Verace. Uh, of course there's no choke points, is there? That's fine, I don't have to fight these guys. Just get the spells out of you. Although there's only two. Actually, this is a choke point. Because these guys are kind of dumb. So they can't figure out their way around um, choke points. Because they're just like golems, right? It's like constructs that have been built by someone to go fight. Go defend the Iron City. So they can't figure out their way around choke points, thankfully. Not this matter, because I'm just fighting them one at a time. They're also really slow, because I'm slow, and they're still slower than me. In theory, they're capable of really large hits, but I think their accuracy is, like, really suffers. Um, I don't know why, maybe they got low hit dice or something. <laughs> hit dice are kind of weird, because they're, like, in theory, like, a measure of how tough a creature is, except they're mainly just really a measure of the accuracy of a creature. Because everything else, I think, can kind of just be changed or whatever it's meant to be. Like, the hit points can be, like, changed and stuff. And I don't know if they even depend on hit dice anymore. I think they're used to it at some stage. And in theory, the XP depends on hit dice, but there's, like, an XP multiplier that monsters get set, so it kind of gets made up for anyway. <laughs> A little risky, but I'm kind of almost holding down the tab um, key. <laughs> there we go. Fall my way through the entire level. Um, two more levels. I can't hold the tab key here, though, because the end of thing could come along. It's like before, at least, there wasn't too many things left apart from more of those guys. Um... Okay, I'll go this way, but either way, I'm going to have to fight some stuff. I'll put on another divine shield because I am wounded. I think it's important I try and keep my health. Um. I should put on... Ooh, a cleansing flame, but I don't have many of those left. How many haste did I have left? I had three. Okay. If I see a bad situation, I can use a haste, but I probably won't. I'm on the last floor, at least. Um, That's got to be the boss. Oh, yeah, there's a... Fairly clear way to get to the boss, but it does require me to wander over, like, half the level. I might cloud a little bit of this area as well, just so I've got somewhere clear to retreat back to. There's often something tough in here, I don't know what, I think it might vary, I think it's like Hell Centrals or something. I just remember this, uh, this layout being kind of nasty on some, sometimes. Quite often, actually. Uh, like, it's doable if you bring things back in small groups, but I remember this. I don't remember what was in here, I just remember it being... Oh, I think all the doors can open at once sometimes, like if you're really noisy or something. It's something you've got to be careful with, although I'm really me quiet. Yeah, and then the hell centrals come out after all the doors open up, but I think I'm quiet enough, it's not mattering. Uh... 
might as well do the other side as well, because I think I still might be noisy enough to attract everyone. I don't want to risk it. It's only a couple more places as well. Pretty sure this guy can open the door. There we go. The doors are really useful sometimes just pulling creatures up. I'll put on my divine shield. That way when its damnation can affect me and its um, iron shots won't. Although it's kind of almost the case anyway, but it just makes it a little bit better. Also, it does reflect the uh, back its own iron shots so it kills it quicker. Uh, which way was it? I just had to go down. I should pop some of the doors though, because again, they'll have the creatures living in them. Because I think these are like actually houses. I'm just busting down people's houses, which I don't know. I'm not sure I can quite classify myself as a good character when I'm busting down people's houses, stealing their runes. Oh, I'll put on another divine shield because I'm a bit wounded. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, anything I want to do with this dragon? I mean, I'll do the spiders, but it's kind of silly. I was hoping they'd wave it up or something, but I guess not. At least they confused it. Although, I think it needs to be more of a nuisance for me because it's running away from me. I don't know. Two hell sentinels. This cleansing flame. Oh, I'm out of cleansing flame. Okay. That's actually kind of annoying, actually. Um. Why should I blind that one? Actually, they're already blind, aren't they? <laughs> they're fine with the health. Uh, this should be fine. There's only... Oh, maybe not. Oh, I don't want to shield, but like... Uh, do I just... I'll hop back a bit, definitely. But I feel like that health center, will, yeah, it did notice me. I reckon with that much health, I'm on, I just use a haste and then drink one of these heal wounds. Oh, I'll put on another divine shield with my remaining piety. <laughs> Okay, I've got two more haze, and I've, oh, I do have the, um, do have a bit of Zod after this, but Zod shouldn't be too bad, at least. Well, I think my trap layout would have required a little bit of cancellation, but that's fine. Oh, put on the Divine Shield, it really gets out of, uh, Divine Shield. What's he got? Oh, a ring of nine decks, six slaying. Nine magic points. I might be able to sort that one in. I'll see. Where's my mirror? I did quite a bit of it before it disappeared. Um, yeah, I mean, that dex is going to help with the dodging. I'll drop the evasion. I know I had that on for a while, but let's see what I've got right now that can be swapped out. So I've got... I mean, that was my resist, light, resist, fire, C. That was already slaying. Still, this is more slaying, and it doesn't have the minus magic points, so it's actually better. <laughs> um, you can put on the tower shield of protection now, although I've got a little bit less fire resist with this on. I'm... Oh, do I have another source of resistance? I'm not sure I do. I kind of tempted to like swap things around for a bit more slaying and then, because I'll be going back to my demon work pretty soon. All right, let's get out of here. In fact, right now. This seems questionable. I'm going to do it. That was drain my health, but we'll see how this lives. Oh, no cold resist. Oh, no, I don't think that's worth it, actually. How did I lose my cold resist? Was that when I swapped my shield? We'll see, it's no resist electric. I'm not sure that's not nah, that's probably uh that's alright. I just not sure that was the right choice. It probably made more sense to go with the other ring, but oh well.
Just as this is the right weapon to be stacking the slang. All right, what have we got? I'm pretty sure I have a potion to cancel this when it inevitably gets set off. I think with how little time I was marked for, there shouldn't be too many guys here. Like, built up specifically. On the time I was marked here. Uh... That's a divine shield that protects me from pies, right? I'm not actually 100% sure on that, but I'm gonna presume it does. Yeah, it looks like it reflected straight back at the clown, which is good. I don't remember if I've got no resist electric, but I think I'm doing just fine against that electric golem. I mean, that's an extended character going through here as a bit more of an advantage. Well, it's weird seeing things go invisible, because, I mean, they don't stay that way for long. I do have a shining aura, but I have a tiny shining aura. Oh, also, was I going to go back to MacLab? Um, let me go check on titles. I gotta, gotta check. Um, any of the low tier ones I haven't had, because if uh, there's any of these ones. Spawn of Chaos. I feel like I've had that. Um... Let's see what the bot says. Oh. Huh? What are complaining about? Anyway, let's see the work. So I've had... Oh, I've had a spawn of chaos. Uh-huh. What about... Where is it? Where's back level on this list? About a disciple of destruction. I have not had a disciple of destruction. Okay. Oh, the shiny one's gonna be mad at me, right? Ah, well, whatever. Um, because Maglev's like an evil god or something. <laughs> oh, they serve me well, three extended. I wasn't getting three extended with Maglev, so I had to make the choice. Uh, made the swap. All right. Goodbye, shiny one. Uh. The shining one, yeah, the shining one's mad at me. Okay, that's that's expected. Wait, what am I doing? That's silly. I was probably put on divine shield, of course. <laughs> like, oh, the cloud was put on divine shield. <laughs> of course not. I would say I'm a, like a wait. What was the message when I rejoined? Oh, such a long way back, isn't it? Um, it says they walked me back on my mark of execution. Burn this with power once more, right? So I guess I technically always had that mark. Wait, does that mean I can... Does that mean I can do a thing despite not having the piety that you need? I guess the piety is to get the mark, but it's not to use the mark. Oh, that's interesting. Still have A resist negative, right? No, I don't. Okay. It's probably fine still. Uh, oh, whatever. Dodging. I can get all the dodging. I don't think there's any other skills I need. I've got, uh, while well, I'm setting up my title, I need to get a little bit more piety. But Maglev likes when I kill things, so I might be able to get the piety. Just killing things is certainly a thing I plan to do. I love how there's uh, like the the orb dais there that holds the orb. Even if the like the reason for his addition was to stop people moving it around with like uh oh what's it called the uh, Hellfire Mortar or something. I don't have a potion of resistance, do I? Huh. Huh. I drink the haste, but My first orb of fire might be. 
Oh, my brand's not doing a lot. Oh, I got minus regen. Come on, dude. Oh, I got frail as well. I might have to reset those. Because I got the potions for it. I'll lose some AC, but I think it's worth it because I got quite a bit of regen. Uh, I got one of the levels of frail. I guess that's good enough for now. Hey, there we go. I'm a Disciple of Destruction. Also, I should probably just be going and getting a win, I reckon. Uh, this guy's not perfect, but I reckon it's probably fine. Do I haste up is the question? I think I'm going to be fine. What's happening to me? I got frail, didn't I? I noticed, like, my health going up, uh, well, current health going up, which is a sure sign that you just got frail. Oh, hey, yeah, I do still do the executioner thing. Um, I might try and get rid of something that frail, just get a win. Oh, still frail. One less frail. I've got minus scrolls, which I should get rid of, because that's going to help on the orb run. Oh, the scrolls of blinking, which I got endless ones of. I'll oh, still minus scrolls, come on. <laughs> I got rid of all the positive ones. Let's see if I can get rid of the negative ones. Minus scrolls, okay. Genetic defects, I might reset it. Hopefully it doesn't make it worse. So I got uh, strength, that's fine. Good, and I think my shield's still on, so I'm just going to grab the orb and get out of here. Well, the remaining pandemonium lords that are dead are not amused. Which means that Lob Lobon could turn up at any second, I think. Oh, Crystal Spear, sure. Uh, how do I get to a staircase? Uh, yeah, I'll do. Oh, really? Got minus scrolls, I think. Let me just go check. That's the one I just spent all my time trying to reset, but I'm going to have to reset it again, I think. I just want to get to a staircase, like an up staircase, and then reset it, but... I don't know, this is not great. I'm going to... I should have done that in the other order. No, it's fine. It will still get me out of there. Right, now let's reset the minor scrolls. That looks good. Uh, and I'll do an Ambrosia if I'm carrying any of those around. And I got quite a bit of regen from my items as well, which is going to help. Now oh, I will fight these guys. Really? Body twists and deforms? Sure. Uh... I'll fight this day, I guess, but I might need to reset that. Ooh. I like how this is going. I might just go... to the staircase, I think. Okay, where's the next one up? I'm not on it yet, am I? Uh... Problem with that is like minus six time because I mean it's not the worst thing ever, but I'm still gonna try and reset it. Let's see. That didn't do anything. Oh, it's the less effective that'll do. Um let's keep on moving, I guess. Oh, it's got plasma, but it's a pound of body blows. It's got it to this middle next to it, which is probably the toughest thing there. Um oh wait, how how fast was this guy? 100% so it's like faster than me. What? Oh, I'm still recharging my hop. I might just blink back a bit. It's funny too, I can do a little executioner with a holy wrath weapon. Uh, okay. What is this dude? It's... Oh, it's fast. It's got simple of torment. Yeah, 
Get out of there. Doesn't look like a, a place to stick around with. Oh, this is a level where to go though, all the way across, I think. Am I over teleports? Five. Am I just running across? Although, to be fair, I can just take the escape edge. That's probably the sensible thing to do. Same with this one. I should probably just take the escape edge. Because, like, it's going to take me to somewhere I've already explored. Even if it doesn't, it's going to be somewhere that is weak enough I can deal with it. Uh, who is this guy? How fast, mainly? It's 140% speed. I see. I think that's fine. Oh, okay. Hey, Shiny one. Uh, my hop's still recharging. That's fine. I'll just uh, just use a blink to get myself down here. I'll probably have to find some of these angels. Or not. <laughs> I can just leave them be, I guess. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm going to hop away from this guy, but... They're going to read a teleport, and they're going to read a fog. <laughs> Hopefully that should last me long enough. Oh, didn't last me long enough. But there we go. Last me long enough for the teleport to go off. Wait, this is the top level? I'm that close to the way out of here? I can just, like... Well, that's not what I meant to read, but it's fine. That was a something, I think, by accident. I could honestly probably just, like, read a blink. Because I don't... Oh, wait, my... Uh, Fanfare of Bloodshed? Have I had that title before? I don't know, I might have to worry about my title. Whoops. I, I wasn't just scroll something else that you poke for. I gotta uh, check if I've had that title. I don't think I have. Um. Nope. Uh, wait, no. It doesn't like uh, I've misspelled something in here. Uh... No, it looks like I haven't had it, so let's get out of here. That was a fun game. I got to uh, do uh, to go with Mac level a decent amount of the game. Fortunately, not for extended. But no, I definitely didn't feel tough enough with Mac level and extended, which was a shame. I got some really good items. Like, I got all these uh, sacred scourges, morning stars, evening stars, I mean. Regen gloves. I mean, yeah, I did everything I needed. That was a fun game. Oh, nice. Is there was a, it was a nice game there. All right. Well, um, I might finish up around now. I got another win to add to my streak. And it's actually getting a decent length now, isn't it? Let's see. There's five there. I think it's a six streak 